With over 240 poker tables on site, it quickly became California's definitive hotspot for gaming, specifically for poker. In 2003, a phenomenon known as the moneymaker boom occurred, resulting in a huge influx of people flocking to casinos for their own shot to quote, unquote, make it in poker. Hi, I'm D22 Soso Wayne Chung, former StarCraft Brood War world champion and former high stakes poker pro. I was one year into my professional poker career when this new influx of players propelled me into my high stakes poker career. If you were trying to make it as a poker pro in LA during the moneymaker boom, the commerce was the place to be. Future TV poker personalities like Antonio Sfindiari, Phil Locke, Maria Ho, JRB, and Garrett Adelstein all cut their teeth at the legendary commerce casino. There's so much of poker's history made at this legendary casino, we've decided to host our newest poker livestream show, Live at the Commerce, here at the historic Commerce Casino in Los Angeles, California. Expect to see many of your favorite poker legends battle it out here, from the old guard to the new superstars in poker. Bally Live Poker and Commerce Casino are looking forward to showcasing the best that poker has to offer. What's up, you guys? It's Cairo Loves You. Happy Thursday to everybody around the world watching us on Valley Live Poker here live at the Commerce Casino in Hotel. My name is Cairo Loves You. As you guys know this, I am joined by one of my favorite poker players, Jared Griner. How are you doing? What's up, Cairo? How's it going, man? I'm doing great. Yeah, man, we have a big game today. As you can see, everybody's chip counts. David and Juan and Dan all buying in over 30K. David coming in for a cool 40. We got Snow Lynn, big rookie in seat number two. He's a new player. Very talkative, quite hilarious. Can't wait to see him play. Yeah. We got Dan in seat number three, Lynn in four. And we're going to get straight into this first hand. I'll let you guys know more about our players. But as always, if you're watching the replay of this show and not live, please smash the like button and leave a comment down below. and Let us know what you love, what, what you want to see. Um, I'll be out there replying to the comments. And if you guys are here watching live, hit the like button and say what's up in chat. Let me know where you're watching from so I can say hello. Let's go. I'm excited for this game. A lot of my favorite players in the house. One of my favorite players of all time is David. Him and I have a ton of history. Probably played like 100 sessions or more with, uh, with David. So I always love to see him in the action. Yeah, and, and uh, yeah. My favorite player that's on poker streaming right now that is of a female uh, is oh, Lingland. Oh, I know who you are. Yes, yes, yes. She, she actually might be my literal favorite player. I mean, just epic to watch. Well, here we go. Lynn already making Broadway on the turn. And it looks like, yeah, no, there's a f possible flush draw out there. So she checks the turn. Yeah, she's probably going to make a, make a value bet here on the river and see if David pays it off just with a pair of 10s. Pretty bad board for his hand. It's dope to see David come in just super massive cover of the table. Yeah, he loves that. Mm. He loves that. That's his favorite thing is to just have the big stack and uh, dish out bad beats. I've never seen anybody be more happy about giving a bad beat to someone than him, yeah. especially against me, man. Like I had some David you? once uh, won, a, I think we had 30K each all in preflop. I had uh, aces and he had 5-4 um, off suit. No, that's how these Got me. Win. Got me. Also called your cell phone. It's always good for the game. Lind winning the first hand of the stream today that's always good for the game as well good morale confidence booster for her she was in here yesterday put on a show she's been here uh since we've been launching the live of the commerce quite frequently and we love having her here yeah i've seen her in the streets she's uh, an action player and speaking of uh, mr big rookie i was over on the floor playing a little bit before i came over here and i saw him walking around telling everybody he was about to play seemed very stoked about it oh yeah uh, i don't know if i played with him before but uh Love to see some new faces in the game, and good luck to him. Yeah, he frequents the Commerce Casino often, so all the dealers are super hyped to have him here. Players around the casino are super stoked to see him on the show. Love that. That's the beauty of having these uh, these games here, especially at a new venue. Some players that maybe never would have got the chance that now can can get in the game. And uh, we've got another big hand brewing here. Dan with the Jack-10 suited opens uh, in EP, and Lingland three bits from the small with Ace-King off. So I just, I just started using poker trainers, uh, pre-flop action. Yes. And when somebody three bets out of the small blind with uh, the stack sizing they are, Jack-10 suited is a fold. But look at that. It flops the nuts. Yeah. So this is why I have a problem with, with trainers and solvers. Yeah, and you know what? That's, that's kind of a... I don't know. That's a little tricky. If you're playing in a game with, with a lot of action players like Ling Lin or three betting all kinds of stuff, Jack-10 suited suddenly becomes a call for sure. So I don't blame him for calling. I would be calling on this end. Yeah, because these, these solvers and trainers can't like 
you can't input what type of person you're playing. Well, yeah. So the way that a solver works is it's giving you an output based on a, a th small bet three betting range that is correct, right? And so based on that, uh, you know, that's why it's telling you to fold. I'm surprised it's a fold anyhow, honestly. But yeah, does that make sense? Yeah, you know, no, it makes sense. If, if the small blind's three betting what they should be three betting, then it's a fold. But if it's someone who just three bets way too much, then, you know, not a fold. I think that 10 is going to scare Penzoil Don off this hand. He was really looking for a six to make the low end of the straight. Yeah, he also had a backdoor flush draw, so that, that's what brought him along. What? Did he rip it? He sure did. <laughs> you guys came here for action, and action is what you got. Hand number two. Rips it, drawing dead, drawing to a chop. He made a jack for a chop. Are we still only running it once? Yeah. All right, I love that. For the time Max being. Payne. I'm bluffing you with five Just waiting, I think. Max Payne. Yeah, he just bluffed into the one hand he did not think Dan would have there. How did you call that, Dan? <laughs> How did you call that? Well, hand number one, Lynn wins. Hand number two, Dan doubles up. <laughs> what a start You guys to want action? Game. You guys get action. Almost $42,000. That's like a yearly salary for most people. <laughs> I know. It's a sick game we play. <laughs> Shout out to Veen, Leaf and Brent in the chat okay. on the YouTube side. Appreciate you guys coming back. I will, as always, be looking at the Bally Live app chat as well because you guys are a little bit extra special to me. So yeah, that's right. We're streaming on multiple platforms here. Okay, thank you so much. Which I like to see is really cool and uh, fun innovation that we've got uh, multiple ways to watch the show on YouTube and on the Bally Live app. No, I'm got 20. And the quality on the Bally Live app is actually pristine. Yeah, I checked it out. I was I was very impressed by how high def the video was. YouTube like, compresses it down, right. unfortunately, but like on the Bally Live app, full blown like 4K. I mean, that makes sense. Bally owns it. It's their their thing they've got going. We don't have to deal with 10 million other videos that are going on YouTube at the same time. So logical. Yeah. But I will bribe our YouTube chat. If you hit the like button and say hi in chat, I will shout you out. I see you, Veen, in the, in the Bally Live app. Appreciate you. He's in the YouTube and the Bally Live app. Veen, you are an MVP of, of the chat room. Yeah, you're multi-chatting right now. Thank you. The same game. I really think this is a very interesting group of players today, Jared. You got like a lot of younger people, a little bit older crowd who's more experienced, but some of the younger people have been playing on streams longer than some of the older people have been. It's like there's a lot of dynamics. It's good here. to have a good mix. You know, I always like uh, a diverse lineup. It always adds for, for more interesting dynamics, more action. If everybody's all a tight pro, it's not great. If it's all crazy loose players, it's not great either, in my opinion. Um, you know, you see a lot of games out there where it's just a bunch of psychos, which can be fun, but it's I, I think uh, the people want to see some real poker too. So we've got some crushers in the game. We've got some, uh, some wild cards in the game. We've got some newbies in the game. It's a good mix of everything. Dan's going to take this down with second pair. He has a pair of kings. Pennzoil Dawn had flopped a gut shot to Broadway, but it did not come. He had a queen on the river, so he checks down to get some showdown value with his queen, but is not good with third pair. Do I have the game? I'm ready to play. I'm very good. Just, uh, I didn't come to watch. Yeah. <laughs> After 40 minutes, it would be oh, so ready. <laughs> I know. Oh, that's not a straddle. Not live. It, they only give you one live straddle. Mine is a blind raise. But somebody always raises, so I'll get an option. So there is only a straddle under the gun allowed at the commerce, from what I understand. So what you heard there is someone has straddled, and David went for the blind raise. So he doesn't know his hand. He blind raised the 200. Got a queen eight offsuit there. Yeah, and you know, like he said, somebody's most likely going to raise into him, so you always have an option. Yeah, so this this says it's a three bet, but it's actually not. It's just an open from Big Rookie here. And to Big Rookie is a self proclaimed nit. So it's interesting to see him three bet and how the table is going to react to his three bets. But, you know, David likes to beat 
a yeah, bad, big like, bad beat. Like hand. I said, like this is just this isn't even a three bet. It folded to him in the small blind, and he just raised because well, there was a two hundred dollar you know blind bet there. Lynn cold called from the straddle, so she she was the uh, the two hundred, and then obviously she was the hundred, no. and then David obviously is coming along here. Well, they don't chase their gut shot. Would have been interesting to see if they would have cracked the ace king hand, but it's a nice way to start your first stream ever is to win the first hand you play. Yes, sir. Welcome Especially to the game, big rookie. Get big slick. It's like the show Rookie of the Year, the uh, the older gentleman who finally breaks out and makes it into baseball when he's at like 40 years old. That might be big rookie here in the, the commerce. Yeah, this is the storyline that poker needs right now. Hmm? With all the toxic That's stuff weird. going on on Twitter and, and the poker world. Yeah, we world. need some positive stories out here. And You're Big right. Rookie is that positive story that I am cheering for. All right, let's go. Why? Lean lower. So I heard seat, uh, let's see. He's been very happy. He's seat happy. six here, younger guy here, looks like a, a guy from, uh, is that his name, Snow? Yeah. So he played yesterday too, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I heard the name there. Oh, wow. Sounds uh, like he's a tech guy out here uh, trying, his, trying his hand at a... Uh, some big poker action, so good luck to him as well. Haven't seen him before. Nah, he's cool. He wasn't scared to get in there. Schwan gonna, gonna raise. Schwan gonna raise her pocket sevens. The hockey sticks up against Lynn's five-four offsuit from the big blind, and not the kind of flop you want to see with sevens. But we'll see. Schwan has position. Yeah, and she's gonna see bet anyhow. Be afraid of that um, min raise. Sevens in these spots is a. Uh, that's all I need to know. A spot oh. that you can kind of see bet, uh, you know, <laughs> regardless. Yeah, Looks like uh, David went for the check raise, though. He flopped to the pair. And the reason she see bet the sevens there, obviously it's not a good flop for her actual hand, but for her range it's pretty good. And, you know, there's not really any good turn cards for your hand when you have pocket sevens there, so you kind of want to deny equity from, you know, some queen highs, jack highs, hands that are going to get you on the turn. <laughs> wow, yeah. so oh, I don't want. I have checked. Was that? I Brent and Showtime, Bud Gaming, talking about playing suited hours? connectors no. Hey, no. in the chat room. They like flushes. Not for me. But yeah, who doesn't? How you been? That's me. For those wondering where Phil Locke is on this Thursday, he had to take a couple Thursdays off to handle some stuff, so we got a nice, lively group of people filling in while he's gone. No. Handle some stuff. I can imagine Phil Locke. He's just out there in outer space somewhere exploring, I think. I love Phil Locke. 1,000% believe that after talking to him. Yeah, I love that guy. I played many, many tournaments with him here in L.A. Schwan raising ace nine offsuit from the hijack to 400. She's going to get two callers from David and Penzoil Don. So if there was a $100 straddle, she is going for the 4X. And that's an interesting strategy in this game here. Deep stacked against players that, that call too much. I kind of like it. No and David's going to come along with ace high. Does have a backdoor flush draw. Currently the worst ace high, but a lot of chop opportunities out there. Chop opportunities, great term. Yes, sir. You haven't heard that before? I have, but I just, you know, it gets better every opportunity time. comes through. And it does go check, check. Nuts, nuts, nuts. That's not nuts. <laughs> 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 that I needed you to bet so I could raise you on the river. Mm. That, okay. was, that was the plan. <laughs> you played it too My much. My hand's good too check. good. Good check. <laughs> if you guys are tuned in, come on down to the Commerce Casino. If you're nearby, you guys can watch the game on the multiple screens around the casino. This game is brought to you by GG Poker. It's a great First, game. Uh, left of the dealer, no? First. And happy hour is starting very soon. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty dope. I like that they're showing the games yeah. while they're going on the, the casino floor. There's so many screens around the Commerce, so it's nice to see us out there. Yeah, we got a lot of real estate on the screens out here. I thought he had kings. There's Wayne in the background. Shout out to Wayne. I feel like in these games, there's kind of always a a different mix of people either talking a lot or not talking too much. We'll try and uh, be balanced here. If there's a lot of table talk going, we'll let you guys listen to the banter there because that's uh, 
in my opinion, the most exciting part of any kind of talking rather than hearing us blab. But uh, if not, you're going to hear a lot from us, so let's see, let's see how it goes. The kids say yapping. These yes. Days. Yeah. I've been I've been called a yapper from time to time. Normal little hand. Normal little hand. Thank you. You want to give? I just want to make a bigger pile. Okay. Okay. Your pre-flop raise is the same in my mind as Dan's three bets. <laughs> Dan might be wider. <laughs> right, Dan? Yeah, yeah, you're not wrong. Can I get a change for that, please? I need to get a chance. Yeah, just add a change for that one. I need to get a chance. Yeah, sure. Where's my seven deuce when I need it? Shit. But he knows. I would have three bet three flop if I had seven deuce. He knew I didn't have it. Are we playing seven deuce? You and I are. Can we play seven yeah. deuce? No. Okay. No? It's like a production thing or like a the deal? How about this, Dan? Yeah. You or I beat the other with okay. seven dudes. Okay. It's 5,000. Mm -hmm. You or I. It has to be against you and me. If yeah, you beat somebody that, else with it, it's not. so much advantage for the other ones in, in between us. Well, it's, Please go there's ahead. a lot of risk in life. <laughs> you need to minimize risk in life. <laughs> I'll play. I, I say the opposite. Let's, oh, let's maximize the risk in life. Hell no. You're the pro. I only play like yeah, right. six times a year. A week. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, there. Wow. Oh, right there. You're now you need it. OK. What? So it looks like David raised in the cutoff here. Gets a call from the Andrew. button, small blind, big blind, and pens oil dawn flops quads. And you hear somebody on the table say, like, oh, that's quads right there, not knowing he actually has it. Yes. David C betting on this board, which is interesting, and, and he turns a flush draw now. He's going to check it back. Lucky for him, the flush oh. doesn't come through. Not that it would have made too much of a difference on these tripped up boards. You know, any pair has a boat. But I don't have the deuce, Don. I got the deuce. Yeah? You do? I got the ace, too. Wow. Wow. Full house, quads, oh. whatever you want. Oh my quads God. with the ace kicker. Quads with ace kicker. I need lucky that. You had that ace I had the other day. You're lucky you had the ace kicker. How oh, did you not have an ace then? <laughs> so I was like, oh, dude. I hope you yeah, had an ace, right? right? Yeah, it would have been real nice if somebody had an ace in that spot. Uh, then you're going to get paid. Get but he, didn't have he, it. Had, he had an ace in his hand, so. Chat room, let me know if you guys think anybody beats quad <laughs> deuces with an ace kicker for the rest of the stream as high hand. He knew it. I'll bet against. You'll bet against? Nah. Yeah. Uh, I want to bet with you. <laughs> you want to so bet? That, Let's get even like money. <laughs> that's such a hard bet to make. But if I hit, dude, if I hit, that would be like I had that be odds. epic. Let's bet. I have to have <laughs> odds in my favor. It can't be even. Okay, I'll give you two to one. No, nah, it has to be like stupid. Nah, I I, I hate taking the uh, that the my favorite? side of these bets when it's when it's huge odds. I hate it because I feel like there's nothing in it for me. You know what I mean? Even if I'm getting a good price, I still don't like it. I'm like, okay, if I lose this bet, I have to pay out 10x. Like, uh, 5x. Good. <laughs> it's like 20 to 100. I'll take it. I'd make a good sweat for the rest of the stream, though. Yeah. I'll give you three to one. That's my <clears throat> final offer. So 20 to 60? Yeah. Uh, that's just not spicy enough for me. All right. No bet. No bet. No bet. No bet. It's pretty crazy that you take your oh, home For sure, losing 20. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like... No. I mean, I got, like, free accommodations a couple of times. Yeah. Ace on the turn here for Pennzoil, Don. He's running hot after uh, doubling up Dan. And you did or didn't use your front half? How many deuces did I not. <laughs> I mean, I had, like, lounge. Like I wonder how many jack so hands in the deck. <laughs> they stabbed me with 20. <laughs> 
It's loose. It's loose. We know you got oh, it. You want it again? Yeah. <laughs> oh. uh, uh, $10,000? Well, if Don could just win six more hands in a row like this, he might make all that back. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. He's already stuck uh, 10K. I think that's what he bought in for. Dan? Uh, yeah. No. no. Hmm. It's very hard to hit it. Let me go to the action replay. Either that or you're going to bluff. <laughs> We're talking about the man who went all in with the 5-4, right? Yes. Yeah. Bluff. They've been waiting. So straddles on. Dan brought it in for 30k. What six? Really? Because when he went all in, I saw. No, it w it was was Penzoil Don, wasn't it? Oh, he you went know all what? The five yeah, four. they probably just counted. Dan was the one who won the hand. Yeah, they probably thought. Oh, you know what? Yeah, you're right. You I got your Dans and Dons mixed up here. Speaking of Penzoil Don, though, he has pocket nines, and up against Dan again with Ace King suited. I stand corrected. Don was in for 20. Okay, there we go. So we'll see when the when the number comes up here. But he's going to be uh, stuck or up some more here after he four bets and gets five bet by the Ace King suited. Massive five bet. Oh, and David calls with the seven eight suited. Yeah, he's living up to everything you said about him. Told you. If you want action, David is your man. Good chance we see a hundred thousand dollar pot. Today. Yeah, with these stacks, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, and Penzo will Don now in a spot because he only has 18.8k. Yeah, probably no choice but to fold here in this spot now. So we're going to the streets. Ace King suited versus seven eight of spades. I'll take the Ace King. Surprisingly, pretty close. <laughs> okay, well, now it's not too close. Dan flops the nuts. Running hot to start the show. That's it, right? Oh, okay, thank you. And David going to need running spades to win this hand. Yeah. And Dan or a, or a nine shrewdly on the turn checks. Bluff it off. Or value bluff, I'm sorry. Well, you know, uh, uh, to win the hand, it's going to take running spades because there's zero scenarios where David uh, Dan's going to be folding future streets as it comes running running pair pair, I guess. And David bets tiny, which I kind of like. 3K, 3K into 25K. <laughs> and Dan's going to fast play, though. For the check raises. <laughs> And versus David, I'm not sure he'd like me. Uh, kind of want to let him continue barreling, but reviewed it. after he cold calls, you expect him to have something stronger than this. So I, I don't mind the check raise, just trying to get the money in. The address and everything. Can't think where it is right now. Sure one, Dan. But David lets it go. Yep. Then that. Good fold. Good Dan shows it. That's That's good. Price, huh? It's a good candidate for a five bet, so. Yeah, that's a reasonable hand right there. Found out for three grand. Thanks, Dan. Yeah. <laughs> Feeling pretty cheap right now. I was glad you called. You didn't call. I would donate him another 20. Because I can't. You could go in. Go yeah, I'm going all in if you're not calling. What do you have, Doug? I nice have medium bank. pair. Yeah. But once he calls, though. I'm exhausted. That's real. Has anybody ever read the disclosure form? <laughs> it's bad, I, I know. I watched someone read it. <laughs> I just think I can get my watch on. Probably take this off. Snowman for pocket, or for Dan, pocket eights. Got all of my words mixed up there. David's gonna call with the 5D soft suit. 
Nobody connecting on the flop. See if Dan Ooh, continues for... Or you got in your way. 500. David making the call, thinking of some devious things on the turn. Yeah, and it looks like it might work out for him. Not a great turn here. Not a great board in general for pocket eights. Dan has played enough, though, with David. He barrels again for small. Good play, and I think. Yeah, it works. Yeah, because you check there, it just gives David all the options in the world to represent that king. Yeah. Let's go back to this chip count. Big rookie down at the bottom, but he's up in the profit. So is Lynn. Penzoil Don adding back on. He's throwing the party currently. Dan up top after winning a few massive pots. Yeah, just like that. Dan's already up 20K, I believe. Are you over 21? Well, if he was in Nearly. for 30. 25. <laughs> I was in for 30. I thought he was in for 40. That's right. David was in for 40. Yeah. Or he was in for 40, and Don was in for 30. So yeah. math, math is in my best seat. Let's just see here. Let's just let the let the screen tell us. So he's up $40,000. A couple players up small. Penzoil, Don, yeah, and David both yesterday. stuck big. David mostly from just cold calling this a four bet or five bet yeah. with seven eight suited. Um, Ooh. Yeah, if you if you look at these games, the, the the lineup really just makes all the difference and 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 how much someone buys in for. Yesterday, we had a good game, but the blinds were the same as this, and I think the big winner in the game was like six and a half thousand something mm -hmm. like that. And right now, we've been playing for thirty minutes, and somebody's already up. Somebody's already up thirty k. I got underwear older than you. David, Don, Linglin, Dan. Completely different game. Yeah, no doubt. Thanks again for everybody who's tuned in so far on YouTube and the Bally app. My name is Jared Greiner. Happy to be here with you guys. You've probably heard me on this stream on our opening day uh, and back in the day as well. Uh, really happy to be here, happy for this opportunity to watch poker with you guys. It's such a fun game. You're going to see me here in the streets playing in the game too. I promise you that. We had to deal our own cards. We had to shuffle and deal. I think you got the worst seat at this table. You think? Why do you, think, why do you say that? Squeezed in between me and Dan. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Subtle little hint there that David wants wow. wants today. wants to get after Dan here. He knows he's his nemesis. I figured I'd just spect it today. It's fine. <laughs> I told you guys he loves to put bad beats on people, and I think that's target number one right there. I like to overpay for them anyways. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Swap. Nice. So once the cards are here, though, you can move it over like this to look at it. I think so. I think they just need to briefly, like, oh. yeah. Yeah. once they're red, walk over. over. Yeah. You can. So David raised it up to 300 here, and Snow defends from the straddle with the 950. And that'll do it. So how long does it take to get used to the game? Question. Took me like five years, so. Five years? <laughs> I don't have that long. <laughs> what about you, Sean? How long did it take you to get used to the game? To get used to the game? Yeah, like, here. In what sense? Oh, at five, yeah. just like under the spotlight. Yeah. This is only my second time. I'm oh, still it's getting used to yeah. oh. mm, I think you're talking about stream games in general, so definitely not Schwann's second time. Probably her yeah. 200th time. Second time here at Live at the Commerce. Right. So yeah. she's, she's telling a, a half lie. Yes. I don't think she's just getting used to it. I think she's uh, quite comfortable. You guys, check out Schwann's uh, YouTube page for her vlog update. She's been all around the world doing challenges and playing poker. It's super entertaining. Yeah. Speaking about super entertaining, David wakes up in the small blind with kings. He's going to raise it up to 400. Yeah, when David gets a real hand, it's dangerous. It is dangerous because he doesn't get too much credit. Uh, this would Don. be an interesting spot for Penzoil Don to three bet actually, because it's small blind versus straddle. Uh, smartly just calls. It's the three four six two tone.
Don makes the call. Going to call one time. Board pairs with a six. Now there's two flush draws on board. Oh, wow. And David Deonzi. fills up. Did it go check check on the turn there? I think it did. It did. And Pennzoil Don, lucky he doesn't have another heart in his hand. He does just have the ace of hearts. And maybe if David bet small, Pennzoil Don could represent the flush and come in with a raise here. David overbets. And Don doesn't look like a believer. Uh, all in 18. Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh, and Don runs into it again. So I got a bit big. So he did decide to rep represent the flush facing the overbet and gets, oh my gosh, he jams and gets snapped off by the effective nuts. King's full for David. Nice game. Ace of hearts just backfired on him in his hand. 15, 21. Goodness gracious. It's fair to say that Don is capable of buffing. Yeah, that's an understatement. And, I, you know, in theory, I like the, the play. I think give me, uh, give me the over bet there might have swayed me away from it, but that's a lot of courage there from Penzoil Don. Unlucky to run into a hand like that if it had anything else besides the nuts. What a river. Probably would have worked. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. That looks like he hit a flush. I was flushed. I had an eight Twenty. Twenty. And here comes another twenty. So just like that, David's unstuck, plus some. Twenty, twenty. 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 And Penzoil Don's buried for the moment, but given this action, he could easily come all the way back. a sick hand. Only 15 hands in. Yeah, I already seen a couple massive pots. And you usually when the game it. starts out like this, it just escalates we'll from here be because <laughs> some players are stuck and I'm trying to get their way back. Not so good. <laughs> <laughs> Dan now open in ace 10 suited, and David with a pretty good three bet candidate, the ace five of clubs. Dan just knows exactly where he's at. He's four betting here. Call from David in position, and let's see a flop. And run better, Dan. Flops the nut flush draw and the gut shot straight draw. David has two clubs, but that ain't gonna do it. I'm afraid of the six. <laughs> Move the button. Move the button. Keep it. Thank you. I wonder what big rookie's thinking after seeing that. Yeah, he's uh, probably uh, thinking, what did I just get myself into over here? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. That's, and it's in Chile place. 
Uh, chili oil or chili flakes? Thank you. Dan just getting hit with the deck here with premium hands. This time he's got ace queen. They weren't worth looking at. <laughs> Take it out like that. Makes it 200 to go. Nice call. <laughs> <laughs> and Lingling defended her big blind with deuce three suited. She flops a piece. Goes check, check. Trips for Wing Win. Three on the river? Nah, it's the Jack of Clubs. Wing Win bits 1K, and Dan here with Ace High. Paired board, flush on the board, it's gonna be pretty tough. Looks like he wants to pay it off though, and he does. Lingwin get max value here. Wow. You know, that's Dan's least favorite hand. <laughs> the deuce? <laughs> oh, deuce three. <laughs> deuce three? Yeah. How? Deuce three is a good hand. He, he tried to chop me with queens, and I had deuce three. Oh. <laughs> I wasn't trying to chop you, oh yeah. <laughs> I hit it straight. <laughs> <laughs> I've never played D3. <laughs> you gotta try sometimes. <laughs> it's not as good as Deuce 6. See more of you guys joining the show here. Welcome, welcome uh, down, down to Pally's Presents uh, Live at the Commerce. I thought you Jared Greiner here in the booth with you guys today for this sick game. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> already had some 70 and 80K pots. <laughs> And more to come. Yeah, they had, sure. they had an uh, underground. Yeah, it's really nice, really big. A lot of things to do. Everything connected. Yeah, everything. Even all the, the offices, the retail yeah. shops. Mm -hmm. Everything. Yeah. Already. Seven or eight? I said eight. Yeah. This is really close. A random. King high. Uh, Shout out to Cairo. Schwan here with the Octo Crab oh, trying to make a bluff. Oh. Yeah. Nice and he does make the call with the seven. Also King High. He probably wouldn't call me with King High. <laughs> good call from exactly. Snow. Good. Seven's really good. I should have. Just snapped. Bean says that we're going to see a super high stakes game with G Man before WSOP. Stay tuned. I know we have some huge games coming up. Huge, huge games. You know, but the downtown so, is not advertising. Make sure you pay attention. Like follow us on social media. When I, because when I was YouTube, there for a couple weeks, oh. no one told me about them. Big until, like, like, years on the way. Oh, we've been there for years. I mean, even me, I never. Yeah, exactly, been there. yeah. I lived there, I knew about it. Because if you go up there, a lot of homelessness. Everyone, because everyone's underground. Correct. Where's that? Uh, I mean, I flew in Houston. Up. There's an underground downtown. Oh, there is. So, if you go to downtown, you don't go to to go up there. My sister lives in Houston. Probably watching. Did you look? No. Do I need to? Or see a clash of the titans here. Look, girl. David opens the queen eight suited and gets three bet on the button by Ling. <laughs> King three suited. I let you catch you another two. Give him another two. Ace king deuce rainbow. 
Coach check, check. Now David's got a gutter. You call? I better look. <laughs> <laughs> Bet's 500. Lingwin makes the call, and it looks like David's going to give up. So you own property in Houston? I hear every five years. I have the low, Lingwin. Ling. <laughs> uh, hurricane yeah, comes cool Give me I don't own any. That's good, man. Yeah, it's really bad over there. Really bad. It's not that bad, though. I mean, I don't only, think so? it happened once, but it's not bad. It's too obvious when there's high cards out there. I don't have any of that shit. Then why did you bet? Why not? Mm -hmm. Why did the scorpion sting the toad? I am I'm a scorpion. Exactly. So you know why I bet. You can't help yourself. That's right. It's my, my nature. Yeah. <laughs> You're not scrolled in. No. Are you? I'm a toad. <laughs> no, I'm 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 talking about uh Seven twelve. England asking David what is what is a uh, sign is. David doesn't know what the hell she's talking about. <laughs> And Wayne asking Jared in the, in the chat, Jared, do you coach? I want to make a WPT final table. I do, actually. I don't know if I've got a spot for you, Wayne, but maybe. <laughs> but yeah, in all serious, I do some tournament coaching. Cash games, I don't know about that. I'm a cash game fish, but. Got the Octo Crab flop here for for Cairo. Oh, Nobody has a piece, however. That is the dream, man. I saw somebody play Octo Crab a second ago. Who was it? It was Schwan. She she tried bluffing with it. Okay. You were out, but she tried bluffing uh, Snow. The bluff did not get through. But she tried for you. Give her Definitely owe Schwan some props. Six deuce. Dan just on fire. Yeah, he's making hands and taking hands down with six eye. Good combination. And when when Dan get, I've played with Dan, and when, when I'll, he gets I'll, some confidence well, rolling, it's it's dangerous. Yeah, him. he's a beast. I played with him a couple times before as well. Good or making? All the way from Canada, you guys. <laughs> Flies down here, plays in some high-stakes games all around L.A. Really? I didn't know yeah, that. He was Canadian. Yeah. That's interesting, Very eh? lucky. Yeah. Yeah. Very lucky. Maple Crazy syrup. Lucky. Shout out to all our Canadian viewers. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's all I know. I've never yeah. played. Before. I love Canada, actually. I've been out of there a couple times yeah. to play poker in Montreal. Beautiful. <laughs> city. I played in a game against oh, Barrett. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, the years looks better. Behind us. Yeah. And... Um, I think he five or six bet with aces. And I had six deuce and I called him. And the flop came king six deuce. That was it. It was like a $100,000 pop. No, wait, yeah, thanks for reminding me of that one, David. <laughs> That's <laughs> hilarious. Brings back some nightmares yeah. of that hand. Mm -hmm. It was, I think I five bet pre with aces. What? Comes king six you deuce for the flush draw and then David just them? opened jam the flop. Yeah. It snapped, oh, yeah, obviously. Yeah. We played together GG. before that. <laughs> Include you? Yes. Really? <laughs> well, you, not me. <laughs> uh, I believe the first time we ever played together was in Bellagio. Really? Okay. That's yeah, you came in probably like, I don't know. Really Interesting like, flop here. Everybody got a piece. Was I sober? David, top pair with a nine. Uh, Lingwin, top pair with a oh, king. I think you, okay, you wow. came in like Depends like Dawn with an open ender. Over. Yeah, I can say that. Yeah. Neither one of us believes you, Lingwin. <laughs> you were a fucking whale. Yeah, you were a whale. <laughs> yeah. You came in the Bellagio like the 510. Yeah. Very late. Straight yeah. comes through for Penn's Oil Dawn. <laughs> yeah, you were. Thanks for the memory. <laughs> That's what I play now, 510. Yeah. <laughs> Man, David's going to lead out here. Oh, I just like 10, that 20, it was, you said it in past times. Yeah, at the commerce. Yeah. Yeah. I like this play. Lingwin now with an open ender to go along with her pair of jacks. My home court advantage, right? Oh, excuse me, Lingwin with top pair and she's got a king. David's the one with the open ender. 
I have to see if he looks so fine. Usually here. Straight draws all over the place, and oh my gosh, Ling Lin. Penzo Eldon is just not running hot today so far. He turns the straight only to get rivered here by Ling Lin. The friendliest, most welcoming. The biggest card room in the world. See how much she wants to bet. She has the nuts. That's what I'll go with. Do they include the table games, or is it just for about 40% pot? Penzo Eldon is moon running. I'm running bath today. All right, thanks. Moon running is the opposite of sun running, I guess. Oh, wow. I'm running terrible. What a river. <laughs> I'm running so bad. That's pretty sick. <clears throat> Penzel Don tables his hand, thinks it over for a second, and makes the correct fold. Good fold, Don. I want to bet three. I should run so bad. Yeah. Start it out. Yeah. Bad river for you. Hang in there, Don. It'll turn around. Have you always had a good memory for cases? Um, Just yeah. Just girl. Just good food. <laughs> for 4,000. I want to bet three. Three, my friend. When's the first time no, you two? I think I call a dollar. Uh, yeah, I'm going yeah. yeah. It would have been fun, huh? Yeah. There are a lot of things about her, though, before. Oh, good, I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so like you were toast. I was toast. That rib is so bad, huh? <laughs> wow, I, I didn't think you. I didn't know you. I looked in the mirror. Good. I said, "Who is that old guy?" <laughs> but you're an optometrist. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm right. waiting for Big Rookie to have his breakout moment. Yeah, he won that hand right off the bat with the ace king and that nothing it's else so far, but it's early. Yes, there are. If he goes full OMC and only plays ace king, kings, aces, queens this whole stream, I'd, I'd have a good laugh. I mean, that is the tendency when it's so, your first time in the, so in the live stream streets. The Gotta feel it out a little, yeah, you know? Potentially, yeah. they work to a varying degree. The lens is I may play the kind of You've got it. You're kind of wrong. Also polarized. That just means like adjusting to the sun. Yeah, right? exactly. I should wear one. Of them. Okay. Nice to see you, too. <laughs> holds the lid on the button, and she opens the 8-9 off. David never folds deuce three, three to one single open, open, so he does call him a small blind. And now... I don't play. <laughs> He's one Dawn's feeling it. Oh, he's talking about getting down. When you're stuck a lot, and you look down at Jack, it's not honestly the greatest thing. I'm going to my luck. Three bats, and David comes along, and oh, boy, Lynn wishes she came along, too. All right. Flop's too fair. Good flop for Jack, though. So. I got the low, Don. Use six. Not that high. Use four. Not that high. Use three. Use three of hearts. This is the high point of my decade. <laughs> Not that high. I'm afraid of the eight. David literally had the low. I see any deuce against you, I thought. If, if he's on the board. No, he's king. He ever had six deuce, but he's turned over king's four. <laughs> you better stop. <laughs> o open open your eye out. Yeah, no, believe me, I play six deuce. He ever had six deuce, but I look still off, he got king's four. <laughs> Yeah, oh, Penzel Don just we're ran into it there. That's what I told you. It's dangerous when David actually has a hand. Because nobody believes in it. He said, play six dudes, we turn over King's Bull. But he had to play that king. <laughs> I'm just saying, we haven't seen these six dudes yet. Oh, two. No, I saw one. You, you showed one. one. You showed one. He showed a six dudes one time. Big rookie and David going to this flop. Queen, queen, deuce. 
Big rookie with the ace nine suited. David with a typical David hand, three, four off suit. Yeah, and as soon as opponents show weakness, David attacks it. This is all I get. This is all I get. Big rookie checks to David. He bets the 3-4. He takes it down with the 3-4. I mean, I've been getting 6 high, 5 high for like a week. <laughs> Playing ABC poker does not work against David. Unless you just have the nuts. Yeah, exactly. But it's hard to, to know that, you know, unless you've had some hours with him. Oh, yeah. I think Big Rookie's going to find out real quick. He's like, all right, glasses back off. On stream, six times a year. That's an honest answer. Fair, fair. And crazy private home games, a little more. <laughs> yes, You're right up. Yes, H son, David the legend. 150. This one, 150. 150. Schwan been pretty quiet so far, hasn't made too many hands. Here she's got the 10-9 suited under the gun. I mean, how do you know that? No <laughs> straddle this hand, so she makes it 150, <laughs> picks up two callers here, Lynn and Lynn. Lynn. So we got three ladies <laughs> going to the flop. Like a reasonable guess. Pretty bricky flop for everyone. A pair of tens, though, for Schwann. And Lynn Lynn's going to try and steal it here with the fives. Doesn't get rid of Schwann in her tens, though. And oh, it did get rid of Lynn, who had sevens. Probably gonna go check, check here. Ling Lin checks over to Schwann. Flush is there. She probably thinks Ling Lin would have bet a king, however, so maybe she does go for some thin value here. She does. Sharp. But Lingwin's snap fold, so I don't know. It's a question there. Okay, Going for the thin value. Like Can you get called by worse with tens with no kicker? It's gotta be max pain for Lin. You fold, yeah. you fold your pocket pair, and you're like, all right, this is a good fold, and immediately the poker gods are like, and this same thing earlier. She folded the eight nine versus the jacks, and she would have flopped two pair. <clears throat> Yeah, you can see it on Lynn. She's just processing it. Yep. Not a happy camper at this moment. I've, I've had that exact face many times. All right, straddle off this hand as well. This is what it has to be for me to fold. See? Jack, four. I had one pick worse than that. Nine dude. You're in the right ballpark. Right ballpark. Yeah. Snow getting in the mix with Wing Lin. Wow, 150 takes it. And it looks like Snow takes it down. <laughs> As our graphics get caught up, it happens. You win a huge pot in your hook for the whole game. <laughs> this is my first time playing this event. I'm usually super tight. Who on the? I wanted to break my V-pip from last week. The first two hours, I was at 80%. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you beat Liz from I yesterday. I think right now you're beating the 80%. <laughs> what is the end of yesterday? I have no clue. I don't ever watch it back. So. I'm sure someone else can tell you. Probably 20 something, I guess. I'm sure Lynn got the V-pip up later on yesterday, but after I tuned in like two hours in and she was at 6%, <laughs> which was like impressive. I wasn't, I wasn't <laughs> like, even gonna like say that's it. A, you gotta try real hard for that. I mean, I'm sure she was just card dead because Lynn plays a lot of hands. Card dead, extended dinner break. I see. Make sure things. Sometimes that's how it is. Well, Lynn sold action on State Kings yesterday, so she was trying really hard for the fans. Yeah, and I saw she refunded them all regardless of the fact she took a loss, so that's classy right there. Yeah. Schwan coming in with the three bet with the suited Broadway. Oh, is that the spaghetti? I can get behind that. 
Oh, amazing. Not going to get rid of David or Snow. Yeah, the knife is here. Can I call him John Snow? Yeah, well, slow. it's actually misspelled. It's supposed to be S N O H, as in the singer Snow. Oh, okay. Uh, Don't sorry, know who that is, but okay. Snow Legger. Yeah, no, it's all good. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Um, I'm more of a, a Game of Thrones Snow, you know, John Snow. You know nothing, John Snow. Interesting. Interesting float from David. Schwan goes for the C bet here on this board with the backdoor draws, and David just calls with Jack High and thinks the Jack. Open ender now, though, for Schwan. And she's going to bet 5K into 8. I don't see David ever folding second pair here. Absolutely not. Snaps 5K. <laughs> Schwan's like, what did I just do? And brick for Schwan, and now what's she going to do? To get rid of David on a spot like this, we need a big bet. Let's see if she pulls the trigger. Kind of a dicey spot. She already got called bluffing earlier. But she has to know queen high is no good, and she can put David on a seven, a deuce, a jack. Kind of a must bet situation. You can tell she's thinking it through. It looks like she's going for 11 and some change. Yeah, that's pretty good. She's probably targeting more of the seven and deuce type hands because David did call on the flop. Um, this might be enough to get him to fold a jack. 10,000. 11,000. Here you go. 11,000. 11,000. 600. 600. 600. 600. 600. 600. 600. 600. 600. 600. 600. 600. 600. 600. 600. 600. 600. 600. 600. 600. 600. 600. 600. 600. 600. 600. 600. 600. 600. 600. 600. 600. 600. 600. 600. 600. 600. 600. 600. 600. 600. 600. 600. 600. 600. 600. 600. 600. 600. 600. 600. 600. 600. 600. 600. 600. 600. 600. 600. 600. Oftentimes there's ultimate fold. We are playing with an action clock, so he didn't call there. He just threw out a time chip. Does it come with like anything like style over salad? You can have it. You can have salad Let me have a little rice and salad. I'll be shocked if he calls now based on his current Some fried rice and a salad. Would you like the jack one? Fried rice. David just going for a pure yeah. soul read. I read what he didn't like the flop. Yeah, order something too. Sharp read, David. But you've got a jack, so if you think she hit the jack, he's putting it together. See if he can figure it out and make this call. Diamond draw missed. Straight draw missed. I mean, Schwan went bet, 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 though, so she can easily just still have aces, ace, king, king, jack, king, queen. David's got the chips in hand. Giving her the stare down. You can't see it, but the action clock is right there, and he lays it down. I know my man, and I, d I don't blame him for calling on that one. She triple barreled. What was your kicker? <laughs> <laughs> Immediately, you could tell Schwan was bluffing. <laughs> nice hand for Schwan. Most people would have just surrendered on that river. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, once you hit the open ender so and you bet turn, you no know queen high is no good. So, I, in my opinion, you have to bet that river against David. Uh, that you can have it's much worse than just a jack in that spot that you lose to. Have deuce three, you know. Yeah. And then cheesecake. Shout out to Joe Lerman in the chat.
Appreciate that, buddy. Thanks for joining. Hotel. Experience See you in the poker street soon. Largest poker room with Cow Style Baccarat and Cow Blackjack, all right here in the heart of Los Angeles. At the Commerce, you can count on more action and more tables than anywhere else in L.A. Not to mention our players won over $20 million last year alone. So come play your game. Find your local getaway. And most importantly, win big at the Commerce. More money, more tables, more action. That's why you choose the Commerce Casino and Hotel. That's right, you guys. We are live at the Commerce Casino and Hotel. Over 300 tables active here in the largest poker room in the world. Make sure you guys come on down to L.A. Play with us at the Commerce. The action's great. The people are great. Staff are great. I love it here. I do, too, man. Every time I walk in this building, I get hyped up. You know, one of the first places I played poker back in the day when I got started. I've had a lot of luck in tournaments here. My biggest cash ever came here at the Commerce in the LAPC main event. And yeah, it's a it's a great place to, to get in the action. If you like cash, if you like tournaments, if you like table oh, games, look at that. if How you like eating know? and drinking. <laughs> How did they know that? Two of the highest cards I've ever Get yourself <laughs> on over here. Same <laughs> that. <laughs> Not that high. Here's our counts so far. Dan still got a pile, 75.7K. And it looks like Schwann's back to break even after that. And actually, no, she's up 9K. Dan up 45, still solid. And David, despite winning that massive pot, is still down 18K. The biggest pot of the night went to him versus Penzoil Don, who is, he's stuck in it right now, but it's anybody's game, guys. Another three bet pot here. Dan, <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> this guy is just running like God. Three bets the 10 8 suited, flops the nuts, and checks it over to Schwan, who checks back smartly. Ford pairs on the turn here. And yeah, Dan's going to check again. Don't blame him. Not a lot that Schwan has that she could call a bet with, but inducing a bluff here seems good. Now, is Dan going to call or is he going to raise? does make the raise, and Schwan here now with just king high. Can't really do much. You win this one. Yeah. She does let it go. Oh, shit. <laughs> Damn it. The nuts. You only flop the nuts, Dan. That's, the, <laughs> That's the third time. It is actually pretty nuts, yeah. Third time I popped the nuts, actually. Skittles. I knew he didn't have the quads. Back to back. How much is it again? Thank you. Let me check that. Let's check that. blind.
Here we go. David with pocket aces. Going to three bet to 1,400. Dan's going to make the call from the button with the ace deuce off. Tea with lemon. Uh, chamomile with lemon. Jack seven eight rainbow on this flop. David T bets and mm -hmm. David shows the ace and lays it down. David gonna take that one. And when Dan showed the ace, David had a little smirk. <laughs> it's like, oh really, you had one? I had two. Unlucky for David, he didn't get more action on that one. Did you have the salmon again? I did. Is that good? Yeah, I've, I've just been getting it every time. With no quinoa, with regular rice. Salmon here is legit at the commerce. I get that from time to time. <laughs> it is a disgusting. I just think it's a disgusting grain. <laughs> Tastes like nothing is grittier than it needs to be. Yeah, I'm not a quinoa fan either. You need Lynn, to, like, I'm with you. To make it. But yeah, the Commerce has a really has an impressive thing. menu as far as how many items they have. Shout out to my buddy KK, uh, a proud vegan. And apparently he collaborated with them and convinced them to make a full vegan menu too. There's like 20 different vegan options. And I've tried them because my girlfriend's a uh, vegetarian and man, they're, they're pretty good. It's been a while. Uh, I cooked a few meals really? at some point in March, I think. Um, yeah, no, it's been a while. David versus Dan again. King Queen versus Jack Nine. 10 3 3 on the flop. Both players check off to the turn. And there's a jack for Dan, <laughs> which gives David the open ender. This should get a little spicy. Yeah, it's about the most action turn you could hope for here um, if you're a viewer. Dan blocking the nine. But I'm also trying to yeah, Dan's going to bet. Mm. Uh, excuse me, he's going to call. David bet the 1K. And David with the brick. Will he go for it? You know, my favorite thing that I had in Seattle was the bubble. Not going to get through if he does. Really? I can almost guarantee you that. Yeah. Wow. Okay, yeah. I got to look for that. This is Taiwanese place. It's like. And it's like one thousand. David checks to Dan. I don't know. I guess. Oh. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> but my friend took me there like every day. He called with King High. Nap called. It's a pot that we did not think that was going to be that big just somehow ballooned right there at yeah, the end. Yeah, that, that's crazy. Just David, not a believer. And Dan, again, getting max value and just hitting every hand he needs to. Wu Brian says Dan is a good player, so I agree. I think Dan is maybe the best player in this lineup and also running hot at the same time. That's a dangerous combination right there. Oh, we did hit our 100 and uh, 100 like mark. What was different about I got a giveaway coming up for you guys towards the end of the show, so don't go nowhere. I will double that giveaway if we get to 200. So right now we have one person that's gonna win if we get to 200, two. Obviously if we get to three, three people and so on and so on. No. All right. We've got three more hours left on the show, so 100 likes an hour sounds about right. Probably three giveaways. Because, like, if I get it with, like, less... Although we do have more viewers now than we had before, so it should increase our like rate. If you haven't liked the stream yet, please hit the like button. And I'll tell you what, I'm liking this, and I just like the sound of what I just heard. David adding 20K. We got a high-stakes battle on our hands, Dan versus David. The one I used to date would just order like six. Don't forget about Don. And poor Don. He, he needs, he he needs a comeback boba. here. Because the boba gets like. He wouldn't get it with regular boba ever. It would only ever. Like, Dan goes for it with seven deuce and kicks it. Taking the bet. Dan having the time of his life right now. Yeah, you can see that. Oh, yeah, fuck. <laughs> no credit for that, Dan. <laughs> <clears throat> Big shout out to our director, Brian, on the cameras, getting us all these cool angles and shots here. Indeed, Brian uh, and I have worked together a lot over the years, and he is great at what he does.
the eight, nine, ten monotone board, all diamonds. Big rookie flops the nut straight. Nobody else has much. Probably just gonna take it down here. It does indeed. Not here, though. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is China easy to travel to if you don't speak any Chinese or your friend group doesn't? Mm. You can use Google. Oh, no, you cannot use Google. You're right. No Google? Uh, I don't know. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I don't know what to do. Uh, I see. Uh, but I do see... I, I think it depends on where you go. Really? Like if you go to a big city yeah, and yeah. hang out in the night, probably it's fun. Yeah. Gotcha. And like the areas where young people hang out, most people know some English. Where's the Asian fruit salad? Did we get did I just get a lot of food? Okay. Um, nothing. There's nothing underneath that, right? That cap, yeah. Okay. Wait, it is or isn't the Asian fruit salad? Oh. Okay, just kidding. Great. I think Leanna just forgot one. I'll order again. go to like a small village town like they see a white person and they're just gonna like want to take photos yeah that'll be tough like for point sure. and stare there we go england finally taking a hand down yeah karma in the chat saying these players are giving a lot of action and that is one thousand percent true because we you we we don't use cash anymore. big shout out to we mimi in the chat cash. i see we just scan the scan scan the barcode. The uh, the WeChat. WeChat, WeChat or, or Alipay. I see. So a lot of places don't want to cash, but the government is doing something to fix it. Because I do see much less foreigners okay. in China, but before COVID, it's everywhere. So, so almost a bomb pot. Everybody in here except for Big Rookie. King nine deuce. Lingland with a pair of nines right now. Only person to hit hit that board. Penzo Don with a gut shot needs a jack. And Lingland bets three hundred and thins the field down to nobody. Back to back hands for Lingland. Yeah, pretty hard to win that pot that easily with that many people in there. But like, don't go to China, you'll get arrested. That's what, that's what I have. Uh, round of two? That's yeah. two. Oh, but got it. That's not two. Are you okay with that? You can say no. 
I'll, I'll stand up for you. Hi, Joe. It's too much action. This, so that's, that's a, it's yeah, it's a blind raid. That's not going to do anything. So they agreed to do a round of $200 straddles, so it's going to be 25 50 200 Interesting turn of events here. And big rookie finally winning another hand with ace king. Yeah. No surprise. Happy for him. Really happy. Yeah. Two dunks. My parents. Round of two when I was three. No? He got no option. Yeah, I agree. I do the hundred. I rather yeah, I also do the hundred. Yeah, do the hundred. Yeah, yeah, do do 100. 100. That's fine. And you guys see that QR code coming up the Bally Live app. You guys can watch on the best resolution, best sound. Download the Bally Live app today. It's free. I'm making an account. You guys got your friends. Join me and Bean in the chat. She was gay. Probably wouldn't bring her back to China. It's like, what does that have to do with anything? Like? And Schwan just flopping Broadway. Unfortunately, David only has 6-3, but David's capable of bluffing this off. Are you thinking about going? He leads out for 300. She's going to flat call. <laughs> you couldn't even finish your sentence. Where I can go in <laughs> Before he went for it. Ooh, and the 10 pairs of the board. Very unlikely David has aces or kings here, so. Does Schwan raise here? He leads out for 1,200. Smooth call again. Sip of the tea. And the board pairs again. What a gross run out. David checks. Uh, I this think was that the king, time. Yeah, that king kind of saved David a couple of dollars there. Well, no. If David bet big on this river, I think Schwan may fold. You know? Like, <laughs> maybe not. I, should call. I have a chance. I started with the natural. David's mm -hmm. playing the board. <laughs> Start with Which a is a pretty night. good board. Let me randomize. Right. <laughs> Got two pair. Kings and kings and tens with an ace. Have a natural. Chopping. Have a natural. Six three. <laughs> Shout out to all the Bakrat players out there. Thank you. Natural nine. Living living a good life when you, you get dealt a natural nine. Seems to one. You've been getting all small cards. I always get all small cards. And I see Eric in the chat saying, everybody's playing tight. Not everybody. I think everybody's the only thing wrong in that sentence there. I don't know. Yeah, if you just tuned in, maybe you think that for like the last two hands. But this game has been pretty freaking crazy. Yeah, you rewind the first 15 hands of this stream and you'd be shocked. 40,000 pot here, 35,000 pot here. It's freaking wild start. Eleven. Schwan raising her queen jack back to back hands. I give you action, Dan. And Don wakes up with ace jack of diamonds. <laughs> Schwan's gonna come along, give him that some action. Sincerity, I felt it. <laughs> and Schwan flopping open ended. I mean, you did make a flop. Pennzoil Don with the gut shot needs a queen. Any, any jack or ace, he's good. It's actually, any ace he loses, but. <laughs> Schwan just gets there on the turn. I think Pennzoil Don is the definition of moon running right now. Yeah, I mean, he doesn't have a real piece of the board, so. Probably check fold, but maybe not. So far, Don's kind of picked the wrong spots to bluff and just ran into some strong hands. Thinks better of it this time. You're running so bad, Don. Oh my God. You're running you, so you don't bad. believe what I pull either. Yeah. And everybody just kind of like realizing it that he is running bad. Crazy, huh? Sometimes it is like this. 
It's crazy. And sometimes you can't be the one person, no matter what you do. Mm. I have that hand dominant. Too, Ace queen. Have you guys ever ran like Dawn? Let me know in the chat. Well, I could tell you times I ran like Dawn. That's running bad. I can't tell you about how many times I ran like Dan, though. Swapping the nuts three times. Snow from the small blind wakes up with ace nine of diamonds. Raises to 400. Have you spent much time in China? He gets no action. Are you from mainland? Are you from mainland China? gone back to mainland in a while. I used to go to like the APT most of the years. Where would that be held? Macau. We are live in Los Angeles at the Commerce Casino and Hotel. A bunch more time between Macau and Hong Kong than I have. We got some love from Canada in the chat. Um, I dated someone who lived in Macau. I don't think that's the G-Man, but G-Man in the chat asking, is this from Macau? No, it's not. Lynn has ace king offsuit from the hijacks. Going to raise it up to two hundred and fifty dollars. Gets called by Snow with his ace seven off. Mm -hmm. And Schwan says ten three offsuit from the straddle. Why not? Did you play Tuesday? Yeah, and obviously she knows that that's probably a fold. But in these kind of games. Giving a little action <laughs> is always a smart idea. And it looks like everybody's got a piece. Schwan with a pair of 10s. Lynn, top pair, top kicker. And Snow has the nut flush draw. You get JT tomorrow, stay another day. Oh, it'll be a fun game. Lynn checks. And Snow bets 300. Schwan's going to come along. And how spicy is Lynn feeling? She smooth calls. Yeah, with three ways here. It's a somewhat scary board, but she still has the best hand after this nine of hearts turn. Checks around to snow. Looks like he's going to make a bet. Currently, he has the worst of the three hands. Does have more equity than Schwan, but right now he has no pair. And he gets there the sneaky way with the A7 off. Rivers the straight. And Lynn doesn't love to see it. Almost jumped out of my chair, Jared. I saw that. One of the ways of getting there. God, when I have combo draws like that, that's just, it never comes oh, out. He, he just ripped. moves all in. Effectively, two, two and a half X pot. And got a little greedy there. Could have got some value from Ace King for sure. Um, I, you know, I usually don't like to say, you know, anything against saying a little greedy, but that was maximum greedy. Yeah. I mean, there's a flush on board. Seven makes a straight. You know, we're trying to get called by one pair of hands, two pair of hands. <clears throat> if someone had a set, we probably would have heard from it previously. It could have a flush, but you've got the ace of diamonds, so that's a nice. Technically, he could say he played a 20K pot, though. <laughs> yes. Don, did you fly in from Texas? Yes. No, today. I just got here. Oh, really? Yeah. Are you going to play for a few days? I'll be gone tonight. Oh, really? I have things to do, yeah. Busy. I might start playing over there more. You started playing over In there? Austin, yeah. Mm -hmm. At the large? I think so. I was there last time playing head up with uh, M.M. and Big Airborne. They got me real good. <laughs> <laughs> do we wait off street? Shin, all I can. Uh, you you play over there a lot, don't we? Um, like I'm trying to play there more. Yeah. Like I want to go like once a month or something. Mm -hmm. 
Get, get our number when you come text us. I can come play, too. Huh? I got at least the one I know. I'll play there twice. But Shout out to Doug and the homies, Slick Rick. Let's call Mike over there in Texas. I forget how big Texas is. It's like, in my yeah, head, like, all those... Those spots are not oh, good yeah. at That's all, huge. though. huge. <laughs> David going to three bet his ace four diamonds from the hijack to 600. Snow puts in the four bet. Queen jack off in the cutoff. Kind of after seeing a lot of David's hands, he keeps showing snow. Natural nines, four fives, all this stuff. Lingland with the mystery hand puts in the call. Let's have a fun sweat with this one out of the small line. What are you calling a four bet? From a player you've never played with. Oh, he raised two times? Yeah, he raised two times. I thought it was 18. Okay, I, I want to fold. Yeah. Give her change anyway. <laughs> yeah, and <clears throat> the idea behind the four bet's okay. The problem is, is that four betting this hand, you probably want to do it against someone that you have fold equity against. And regardless of how shitty a hand David's three betting with, I don't think he's folding to the four bet. <laughs> However, it does work out for him here. He flops top pair. David comes in with the check raise. Made six six thousand to go. About fifteen K behind. And actually no, he has more than that. Those are pinks right there. David's got much more than fifteen K behind. Interesting decision here from Snow. Looks like he's gonna go with the call. <clears throat> Makes the call and David with a pure air ball here. Needs to hit running cards for a straight or hit an ace. And there's one of the running cards he could need, uh, potentially hit. Now he can hit a deuce on the river for a straight. <clears throat> um, he puts David in all in effectively here. Oh, excuse me, David puts Snow in all, effect uh, all, all in effectively here. Tricky spot here for Snow given the player that David is. I think you kind of just have to stick it in here with a pair, but it doesn't feel good. You know, David's allowed to have hands. He could easily have a set of fives, a set of eights. Very good. I mean, he called a four bet pre-flop too, so. Can just have ace jack. Looks like David just bet 10K. I thought I saw him throw out three, which would cover snow. It's all but it's effectively the same thing. Uh, you got left. You got a little more. Yeah, you have yeah. a little more. I He makes the call, I believe. Yeah, leaves himself two or three K behind. And now, your GG moment, this river, David needs a deuce or an ace. He knows at this point, he's not gonna win the hand by bluffing. Oh my goodness. Uh. 
And David turned over his hand thinking that he was all in. Save your money. <laughs> oh, no. Wow. Save your money. Wow. Gives, wow. gives Snow the rebate by mistakenly turning over his hand. Nice hand. You played it well. Oh. I don't care. Oh, Mr. my. Hard God. <laughs> like I said before many times, the difference between an idiot and a genius is the river. <laughs> it is. You're right. That is insane. <laughs> I love that. But that David. is the quote of life right there. Yeah, no worries. What a boss. Put that in your poker book and smoke it. Uh, 20. <laughs> the difference between an idiot and a genius is the river. How much is it? Can't wait to use that against somebody. <laughs> 20. Almost $39,000 pot. Called me up yesterday. What a bink. Puzzle, and it was a word when you look at bink in the dictionary, and ended with you'll see a picture of David and an ace just smirking. Poker hand. River. River card. Yep. <laughs> Very nice. He lets him off the hook. He's going to save your money. New York Times. Oh. What's that? New York Times crossword. I wanted the crossword puzzle. She didn't tell me which one. Started with an R and ended with a D. But do you, I, I was thinking retard. <laughs> See, that was my, that was my first impression. Name <laughs> the river car. I thought, huh? Okay. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> that was God, I love language. It's their second language. Come on. It's the wrong word. You mean it's the river car? That's two words, too. The two words. And crossword puzzles, they can Oh, right. <laughs> you like low cards, but then high cards have been doing you well. I mean, low, on the river, ace, ace on the river. When it comes low. to bluffing, I don't discriminate. Oh, for <laughs> sure, right? <laughs> <laughs> but I do get a lot more low cards where I, I quit. It seems like most guys do. Trying to represent the two pair of two low cards. That's my pickle line. <laughs> Here we go, big rookie waking up with the dream. Aces. Nice. Puts in the three bet. Fortunately, no one's going to give him action. Yeah, I'm lucky for him because he's had a few good hands, and the way this game's playing. You know, you expect to get paid off with those hands, but sometimes, you know, no, I had kings once. it's part of running good in poker. You got to get hands and then have there be action. He's in for 10K. He's up 2K. It's first time on stream, time of his life. I promise you, a $2,000 win right now feels good. I would have killed Or might have Absolutely. <laughs> I just came from a game two days ago where, you know, Everybody's raising initial raise is six thousand, three bet fifteen to twenty thousand. How did you do in the game? The first two hours I was more down. But then I got it all back and got up two hundred. Hell yeah. So what I've been Sixteen? Okay. okay. Wait. Only sixteen? Oh, how much do you want? Only sixteen? Uh, only sixteen. You sure? <laughs> I'm nice. I'm really nice. I might raise just for fun. Just for fun. Lingling opens up her tens and David decides to four bet her king queen for fun, as he says. After telling a speech of playing a super high stakes game two days ago. My range is deuce three to aces. <laughs> the worst hand versus the best hand. That's his range, A to Z. Yeah, thank you. My range is aces to aces. <laughs> oh my aces. God. Oh, wow. Amazing. Big rookie's range is aces to aces. Cracks me up. <laughs> ace, ace, deuce. Wingling with the best of it. She might be afraid of the deuce. the range. Yeah, smart check back from David. Lingling is just setting David up. She knows he doesn't have it. She just wants him to go for it. Yeah, with this sizing, tiny bet. Lingling definitely going to stick around. Hey, 
I'm hanging in there. Here comes the skill card, Lingling, right here. <laughs> Not the card David wanted to see if he's going to get a uh, bluff through here on the river. It's on you. Oh, it is? Because he's yeah. got to know yeah. that Lingling either has maybe an ace, probably just a pair. And people won't fold pairs on these tripped up boards too often. Okay. <laughs> I mean, so you don't have a shit at all. If you have quads, you have to check. Oh, shit, you, know. you make 4,000. What the hell you have? No, you scare me. I can't even bet. I okay, let me see your crap. I got the nuts. I knew you had the shit. <laughs> oh, that was Ten. almost. What do you think? River goes what check, check. That? Tens. You calling? Huh? Are you going to call me King High? No, but tens yes. is obviously good. That was almost a, a jackpot hand. I want to raise Thomas you on the turn. Three jackpot yeah, you should have. Huh? You should have. <laughs> no, come on. You scared, us. You scared me. I mean. I thought, what if I had a real hand and he, I, you fall back? You know I can't win with real hands. I come know, on. that's true. That is true. <laughs> I saw a bad beat jackpot here yesterday. Bored. The 5-5, five, five, aces versus ace king. Two aces on the flop. They're all in. The whole casino crowds the, surrounds the table. Ace on the river. No, but I might Fifty thousand dollars. Yahtzee. Bad beat, ace king. You ever been in a bad beat jackpot before? Never. It was also, it's on my bucket list. You'll get there eventually. I've, I've played a lot of cash games and only been in one once and it was just a table share for me. <laughs> Dan back into action, queen five suited from the small blind. David playing Princess Love's favorite hand, 10-8. my low flops today, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Stick to the low Dan bet, David I folds. Know. It doesn't work. I King am. queen, you don't even hit anything. I mean, that's why I didn't really put too much in there. Yeah. Exactly. That's my food. Yeah, it's taking like an hour to get food. I think it. I think if you ordered already, it came. Oh, you just said really? everyone's food is here. Oh, oh I didn't okay. even hear that. Well, really? I didn't know okay. either. I think you guys might have been in the hand. I did not know that. Hmm. Thanks. But if we go eat, it's like Last four. time I ate here, nobody said anything. I just brought the food here. They won't say anything. All right, let's see a flop. We both know Schwan raised with shit. Let's see. She ain't gonna four bad. <laughs> Like we played with each other before. Did we really? Lynn puts in the three bet with the eight seven suited and flops open ended. And David flops top two pair with his ten nine. Schwan with the mystery hand here. David bets three thousand into thirty four hundred. All in? Yeah. And Lynn rips it. Whoa. This is not ideal for me. Oh my god. Mm, good, 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 flop. Good, flop. good flop. Good flop. Good flop. Good flop. That's Lynn's going to need a six Always or a jack for a straight. For running clubs. Oh, only one here. Okay. Good to know. There's a queen. I didn't know that. Diamond. And there is another queen. Okay. David's two pairs is going to hold. I'm just high variance is all. I'm high variance. I have no problem. Uh, you know what? Actually, I'll just get changed from yeah. the cage. So you can shift. No, that's a long line, by the way. OK, Someone great. Do it. Do you, what do you need? It'll take them a while. Um, 10. That's fine. Yeah, uh, 20 total. Yeah. Lynn's going to come back in for 20. Here, can you change? Spicy flop there. You want it in, Lynn. Uh, you want it all white? A mix. A mix? Yeah, okay. you pick. Okay. Uh, David with all the change after having that hand with snow. Um, I think you, I probably still have to get chips for it because they're going to get mad about. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, maybe let's, yeah, I'll just wait. Yeah. 
sorry. Yeah, please. Thank you. Can you get chips, please? What's this? Jonathan, can we get chips? You want change? Or what? No, that's fine. Uh, I get a little bit if you want. Yeah, some. sure. Five hundred. Four hundred. Hey, Jonathan, <laughs> can I get uh, chips from someone? <laughs> Once in a while, they'll forget. But... It's my therapy uh, <laughs> rub. <laughs> All right, I ran to the bathroom for a second, and it sounds like uh, David Freddy. had another victim. <laughs> okay. David is on a tear. Yeah, but uh. Just like think. Well, actually, you know what? Maybe he is like back to even after that bot versus right. snow. I'm gonna say he's on a tear, but still stuck. That is definitely three. Yeah. I'm sorry. And then I have 10 behind. I can't resist. I cannot resist. Can, is my food here? Oh, okay, thank you. Oh, no, I'll take okay. out for 25. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, now I'm going to go eat. There's your chance, Dan. David loving his new chip stack, putting them to use with the three bet here with the 10 9 0. I got a lot of white chips down. It's not a problem. All right. <clears throat> Dan, four bets. Seen this story before. David not folding. I'll put the whites in there, eh? Mm hmm. And pretty brick Check. flop for both players. Gut shot for David. Check. Goes check, check, and there we go. David Binks, this straight on the turn. Six, five, K, yeah, thank you. And he bets pretty small here, 2K. Stringing him along here, drawing dead now. Dan just hopes he doesn't hit an ace or a queen. Yeah, three of hearts. But given how much David is in these pots, you might see some curiosity here with ace high. It's really hard for ace high to be good on this specific board, I think. You know, five, six got there on the river. The flush got there on the river. And really just hope he has missed clubs. I'm only <laughs> playing the nuts, Dan. I've I tightened up. I've tightened up. And David was not lying. Had the nutter butters. As you can see, I'm on lockdown. You're on something. Lock the nuts again. Close. Mm. Not ish. If you guys are just joining us here this evening slash afternoon slash morning, wherever you are out there on planet Earth, this is Jared Greiner, and you're watching it live at the Commerce.
It's been basically 25, 50, 100 the whole day so far. We've got some really big stacks, however. Seen a couple 50, $60,000 pots. And chips are flying on almost every hand. Haven't had too many raise and take it's, haven't had too many flop C bet take it downs. The players in this game did not come here to fold, boys and girls, and you love to see it. Come on. <laughs> Story of the night here has been Dan versus David. They played many, many pots together, and here they are again. David with top two, or excuse me, Dan with top two pair. David with the pair of eights, it shows, oh, okay, because we're on the river. I was gonna say it showed Dan with the check mark, but obviously David could hit an eight. Does not happen, however. know if David's seriously considering calling here. He just puts Dan on some kind of missed flush draw, but it does make the fold. Disgusting thoughts, David. <laughs> get those disgusting thoughts. <laughs> Conan, we'll get the stats up for you guys soon here. <laughs> you know I don't have any. Because I too am curious about the V-pips. <laughs> I had a queen, I'd call you so fast. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys haven't already, make sure you download the Bally Live app. There's a whole bunch of sporting events on there, not just poker. Saw some basketball, some baseball, some MMA. Somebody's got a dirty stack right there. I hate to see that. Uh, originally, uh, Vietnam. But I've uh, been living in uh, SoCal my whole life. Okay. Yeah. How about yourself? Uh, Texas. Oh, cool. You live out here now or you just visit? In Seattle right now. Oh, wow. Just came down to gamble, huh? See <laughs> <laughs> you. Snow opening ace jack off from the hijack. It's three bet by Schwan. It's got her dominated. You never know but don't forget about David. Or the flop. Cold calls with deuce four. That's right. Now we're going three ways. It's happen. What a six high flop out there. Oh, Close. check fold, check fold. That ain't it. <laughs> <laughs> David says check fold. <laughs> he's an honest man. You know, usually if he's telling you something about the, what his head and hand is, he's usually telling the truth in my experience. I could, I could get there. Oh. <laughs> uh, both players here with a uh, top pair and a straight draw. Straight would give either player, the other player, a two pair. <clears throat> What a good lay down. Eight on the turn doesn't change much. And Snow's gonna check it back over to Schwan. Probably thinks she still has the best hand, but it's not a great situation in this three bet pot. However, you know, the fact that David cold called kind of makes Snow call with, with almost everything. 
you know, unless he's opening complete trash. I'm gonna go get my food. Um, Snow also not loving the spot, but he does have top pair with a jack kicker. And lucky card here for Schwan. King pairs on the on the river, and now it's going to end up being a chop pot. Goes check check. Schwan loves to see that bailed out by the river there for the chop. <laughs> Uh, I'll keep the pink. I want the pink, yeah. They are very pretty. <laughs> All right, I'm a fan of the pink chips as well. I'm not just saying that because they're the highest value ones. Yeah, I'm in Seattle right now. That's where my daughter lives. Well, maybe I am yeah? just saying that. Have you visited? <laughs> oh, lots of times, yeah. You guys can scan that QR code to download the aforementioned app. <clears throat> In my opinion, it's a better experience watching our stream on the app too. Just because of the upload quality for the video. Check it out, it's free. When I downloaded it the other day, you don't even have to put any information in, you can immediately start watching. Straddle still on. We're paying twenty five fifty one hundred with the fifty dollar big blind Annie. Mm. And Dan mixing it up here after Schwan raises hijack. He just calls, probably hoping for some action from David, <clears throat> who is still left behind to act. Checks around to David now on the button with Ace King. Low plays it pre-flop, and he's going to bet this flop. He does have the best hand. Schwan, Ace of Hearts, wants to represent Bluff Future Streets if another heart comes, goes for the check raise. <clears throat> Doesn't get rid of Dan, however. Um, here's the card. Juan wants to continue telling this story. Three and a half thousand in the pot. Somewhere around two K and change is what I would uh, order up here, and that's looks like she goes a little smaller, which is also fine. You know, if you turn to flush here, you want to make sure you keep keep your guy around. <clears throat> Whatever. And Dan shows that he had Ace King there. So Got to feel good for Schwan. Probably the only way she won this hand is if uh, like David played it the way he did. <laughs> Excuse me, Dan played it the way he did. Schwan repping WPT Global, which I know is a pretty cool site. Love the WPT. Shout out to Matt Savage. One raises. I'm like, no, my name is Schwan. Dealer's calling Schwan. Uh, she thought she was calling him Juan, but it's because she's in C1. <laughs> one raises, okay. one raises. <laughs> okay. And again, three bet, small blind, four bet, Dan, David, call. We've seen this exact same scenario play out. 
Ah, this time David five bets. Smelled it. Makes it 14K to go, and Dan here with just Queen Jack O. And David's more of a collie type guy, so when he comes in with a five bet here, I would give him credit for it. Doesn't really have a hand that likes to five bet a lot. But, wow. yeah. I know you don't like to fold. Shit, what the fuck? There, monster, <laughs> monster. And David shows one eight. You too. It's the highest card I've had against him. <laughs> Every other time has been six five. <laughs> I had him dominated. <laughs> Stab, Dan. Eight, seven. <laughs> oh, no, no. Okay. Here's your V pips, 64% for David. Standard. And everybody else mixing it up quite a bit here. Big rookie still getting his feet wet. And just like that, David now up 8K. He was stuck like 20 or 30. Snow and Pencil Dawn. Not loving life right now. Pencil Dawn had a couple bluffs that were unlucky, mistimed, ran into the nuts. And Snow just got very unlucky. 26? Effectively all in with top pair versus David's gut shot and ace high. No cheap flops anymore. I didn't get the memo. Dan versus David, part 300. You know Dan likes his hand. Got the king high flush draw. David apparently likes his hand too. We don't know what it is. This is gonna be a tough guessing game, I'll tell you that. But what do you guys think David has here? Check raises. Dan makes it 3.5, David goes 11. Excuse me, it wasn't a check raise. David's on the button here. So Dan bet, David raises. We know David ain't folding. Does make the call. <clears throat> now a gutter as well to go along with the king high flush draw for Dan. No idea what David has, but is he gonna continue betting here? And he checks back. And now, David here finds himself with just king high. Excuse me, Dan here finds himself with just king high. Keep getting these Ds crossed here. Dan, David, Dan's got king high. <clears throat> no idea if David has a piece of this or not. He did check raise, but he's more of a guy to check raise a draw in this spot. The problem is, is Dan has the draw, so. Dan goes beefy here. That's 23K. Basically a pot-sized bet. And I don't think David's real strong here at all. What a turn card, Dan. Yeah. Wish I knew what David had there. I kind of wow. doubt he even had a pair. Nice hand. Yeah, the best hand. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> if the ace doesn't come, I keep barreling. <laughs> I have low cards. <laughs> the ace comes, uh, you might have it. <laughs> Good hand. You're bluffing with the best hand. <laughs> uh, that's a lucky turn card. 
I'm not sure what I'd do with anything else. <laughs> Oh, OMG, it's Dan. Yes, well said. Well said, indeed. This one come back in. Thank you. I think I only got 50 in play. So we're two hours in. I believe we're on for four hours today, right, Cairo? Five hours? So we have three more hours left to go. Strap in. This has been one of the most entertaining games I've commentated on in a while. It's just really fun hands. Well, might as well name this game Dan versus David. This time it's Dan versus Lynn, and Lynn just getting the worst of it every time here. Pocket eight's no good. Hey, come in. Start with 10 or 20, then. Neither player with a spade here, but Dan got the open ender and a pair of nines. Goes check, check again. Not much Lynn can really do here. Could potentially bluff this river. Check, check. Does go check, check. Hard man to bluff. <laughs> Could have done it on the. Could have done it on the. Yeah, I think that would have been a good spot for Linda Bluff there, just because it's really unlikely an eight is good, a pair of eights is good, and you know the way it played out it does seem like Dan just kind of had a mediocre pair. Welcome back, Lindley. Snow raised in uh, EP under the gun here. And your boy David in the straddle, ace king off. If we're going to play hand, we might as well play for all of it. <laughs> and I'm not sure how much Snow is playing here. Unless he's got some 5Ks behind, it looks like he's only playing 10 or 15K. <laughs> Must have had a dusty hand there, lays it down. All right, one way or the other, I got to find out if you got a real hand. Raise in an early position. <laughs> Look of frustration on Snow's face. Just, sure. just can't get David oh, today. I meant to <laughs> Is that okay with you? <laughs> I'm, I'm a hot hoarder. If your name doesn't start with a D, you're not getting any chips. <laughs> Say that much. <laughs> Besides you, every single male at the table name starts with D. Oh. Really? Yeah. Cool. Okay. Right. What can my nickname be now? Daryl. 
just call Snow Daryl from now on. David on the screen. Exactly. You can make any name you want here. This is. I'll be. I'll be long. There you go. I'll be long. There you go. It's not even complicated. Check it. Uh, one time. Oh, wait. Okay. This is like deja vu. I know, right? <laughs> I'm saying, man. Again, we're not picking up David's cards, so the food you know Dan has two nines with no diamond. Horrible board for his hand. It's always a hit or miss at a casino. Those check, check on the turn. Seven of clubs, river. Three point eight k in the pot. It looks like David bet like four k here. Five k. This would be a pretty wild hero call if Dan does make it. Yeah, David's got his cards right there on the reader, so I'm not sure why it's not getting picked up. You can tell Dan. Shit. Not a believer, but pocket nines here. There's shit too, though. This is why when David actually has a hand, he gets paid off. If I was betting 5K on this river, Dan would have snap folded by now. Just saying it like it is. <laughs> you show seven dudes right now, aren't you? She's sick. That's what you get for checking the turn. Oh. Hot not good enough, eh, David? You want the glory too, eh? With the speed <laughs> play right now? Oh, sorry. What else? It's a small pot either way. Yeah, it gives a fuck. fuck. Oh God, no. if you're fucking doing this right now to me, I swear to fucking God. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know I could have... Is that two time banks now? I everything. So I could have everything, Dan. Everything. You're using your time banks on 5,000? <laughs> Give me a break. We're going to play a lot bigger pots than this. Shit. I could have anything. Anything. That's all me, all the low shit. I think David has it this time. What, what low shit, though? Like seven dudes, right? Wow. How about three five, sure. Yeah. All right. Sorry to waste time here. Fuck. <laughs> good lay down, good lay down. You had a what? Nine? Yeah. Oh, good lay down. Good lay down. Excellent lay down. Man, I really want to know what David had. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he had it. I think he was table in the bluff if he had it on that one, to be honest. <laughs> Raining. Mm -hmm. It's just rivers. I'm getting rivers. Didn't you see? It's just rivers. I got to try to donk it off to him. I got a river. Yeah. Anybody can play pocket kings if they get kings full, right? Is that training? <laughs> <laughs> Double down. You know, it's really bad when I fold you, Dan. Really bad. Also double down. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, you can double down. I wish I had something similar so we could have fun. <laughs> Except an ace, unless the count's greater than plus one.
I, yeah, I don't want it. You wouldn't have played it. Made it. Anyway. I can't win. They made the dudes anyway. Yep. I would have. I would have had ace king. He ended up giving me a deuce. I would have had ace king. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I would have had ace king. Seriously. We would have played a fun pot. Let's yeah. see the flop. For I just sure want to see it. Nice I had ace king. Oh shit, it's what his flop. It? It? Oh, it's it? his flop. What is it? Oh yeah, oh. it's your flop. What is it? It's all yours. 10 7. <laughs> <Ten> -7. <laughs> and I had ace king. See? You're probably winning, though. <laughs> no, I don't win with big cards, Dan. 10 8, 2 6. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you want uh, white by chance for a stack? No, I got a lot. No, I'm talking to your neighbor. Oh, no, yeah. Just 10K? He likes Ooh. the those. No, that's all right. I'll keep the pink, unless you really want them. Yeah, that's OK. Just a lot. Yeah. That was a good flip. Would have cost me at least 20 grand with that stupid ace thing. <laughs> at least. At least, at least. <laughs> at least. Unless he four bets me and I shove all in, then there's the difference. <laughs> Button burst straddle here. Ling Lin has the best of it, but Dan wants to bet here with a gutter. Only has jack eyes, so not really too many other ways to win, and that does the trick. Can I get another green to honey lemon? Thank you. Can you make that two? Make that three, please. Four, please. Mm. <laughs> five. So five, five total. No way. <laughs> Bring around for the table. I'm buying. People are seeing what David's doing, and they're like, I got to get on on this. Green tea, honey, lemon must be the secret. OK, if you're selling whites, I'll take. You know, when, when she brought it over here, I was like, you guys didn't claim it? I was like, I'll take it. <laughs> you want a stack of these two? So yes, see, we're going to la-la lane today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to straddle. Oh, yeah. Here we go. David with ace king and Ling Lin with pocket queens behind. David opening from the hijack here. You have the button or you're in first position? Uh, he has the button. So you got to act first. Oh, yeah. That gives me an advantage, of right? Of course. That gives me an advantage. Ling Lin in the small blind. David talks it up before he sticks in the four bet. Seven, seven, seven two, three hundred. And I, if Ling Lin's stack is correct, I think she's going to jam here. Ten nine doesn't feel so good anymore, huh? When David's got a real hand. <laughs> You can't really do anything here besides stick it in, though, versus My him. Just deuce three to ace eight. <laughs> Although I am partial to the lower okay, card. That's it. OK, call. Oh, okay. She's all in. I got three aces. <laughs> and David snaps it off. We're going to flop right here. We're only running it once, guys. Big, big flip. Oh, deuce, deuce. Deuce, 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 deuce seven. Deuce seven. So go, far, so good for Ling Lin. <laughs> David needs an ace or a king on the river. Ace king. Queen. Oh, nice hand. Thank good hand. You. River is a brick, and Ling Lin wins the $60,000 pot. Mm -hmm. All it took was queens versus ace king against David. Good time to wake up. And Ling Lin finally slows David down here, winning the huge $60,000 flip. All right.
right, good. Take some white. 28. Nice hand. Three, four, five, six. One of the biggest pots of the night goes to Ling Lin. Welcome back, Ling Lin. Oh, that's fine. It would be nice to see David win one time with those high cards, huh, kid? I never win with the high cards. You're right. No, I never win with the high cards. Yeah, if I had deuces there, she was in big trouble. She, was, she would have been like a four to one underdog. Deuces, you just left a set. You just left a set. Exactly. Yeah, I know, you're so. right. Now, only for low card spirit. <laughs> but you, you had to. There's no other way to play that hand anyway. Yeah, that hand played itself. Ling Lin's definitely right. Given the action uh, of these players, you know, but all things considered, they it was 300 big blinds. Okay, so we make the best. Make the eight, eight, please. Only the queen can win with queens. <laughs> I hate it for you. Actually, when you re raise them, I was like, here, here, so this is my, my, my least favorite hand. Oh. Every time I see coins, I'm going to lose all my money. And every time. I'm okay. Yeah, somebody's saying run it twice, chop. Well, there's no the chopping around here. Where's the coin? Running it once in this game. Yeah, right. Well, I can't so. you know, yeah. 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 Certainly could have had eights too. <laughs> yeah. I'm probably down a million. How much is that? And then David Cold called the three bet, so. We really want to stick it in here. David's probably uh, a little tilted. He definitely has more than 15K there. But uh, Penswell Don's all in for 15.8. All right, I'm going to fold. <laughs> David can't help himself. It's the first time you've played since the Kings, huh? Big lay down. Big lay down. Big lay down. Big lay down. Uh, if he was suited, he was going. Maybe. I, honestly, it's, it, it was like 80 20 that on 80% going if it was suited. I would bet against. He's a pr David likes to play a lot of hands, but he's a smart guy. Once once, the, once there's an all in, you know he doesn't just call it off light too too often when he knows that his opponent has a tight range. He even said, "Yeah, you know, it's the first hand he played. played since there. He slowed down a oh, yeah. bunch since he bluffed off." Doesn't it sound as cool, amount. Jared? Well, I don't know. I know. I'm just telling. Hey, I'm, I speak the truth. I know my players. Hey, look, there's me. What up? Nice hair. That's me from the past. You were on delay. We're, we're time traveling right now. I was actually telling uh, Dan, I was like, uh, did you know the sun is supposed to go down at this time? Because uh, you've been sun running this whole game. Oh, he has slowed down. He hasn't lost anything, but he hasn't uh, He hasn't been crushing the table like he was for the first hour and a half. I like this overhead that you get to see into Lynn's cup. I got one. You see there from <laughs> Yeah. There's nothing else besides I'm weird and I find that <laughs> interesting. <laughs> like, oh, that looks cool. <laughs> Something new at the table for me. Yeah. <laughs> Good eye. Yeah, yeah. We all won one. Yeah. Shout out to our uh, server and hostess, uh, Leanne. She made sure me and Jared were well fed back here, too. So. I can't come up with a single flop. Yeah, I enjoyed my burger and fries. Not my typical order, but, you know, thought I'd get a little crazy today. I thought I'd get crazy. I had a salad. Well done. Good You're on that health kick. I'm trying. It was not enjoyable. I'll, I'll, I'll let you know that right now. There's nothing against the chef for the salad. It's just. Yeah. I would rather would have been eating down some carbs and noodles. I'm not a salad guy. It's depressing. <laughs> we, the things we do to fit, yeah. to fit in the pants that we like to wear. Yeah. You know, it doesn't have to be salad, though. You can just go for some protein and veggies and rice. You know, that's my go to when I'm trying to. Get in shape. Trying to cut carbs. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you need some carbs if you're working out. You gotta have some carbs. I am not some, working. Some basic I am, white rice. I promise you, I am not working. Out. All right. Well, I recommend it. Treadmill is as far as I'm going. Hey, but that's working out, man. I'm saying. 
you want to eat food you like and stay in shape, I'm just telling you, just basic. I protein, highly recommend nice. if you have a treadmill at home while you watch the game, just walk on the treadmill while you watch the game. Yeah, get it your made, steps in. Made my life so much easier yesterday. An hour of poker and an hour of walking was great. Well done. If you don't have a treadmill, go outside, touch some grass. <laughs> I recommend that even more. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in the zone. I feel it when I haven't been outside for a few days and I go out and I'm in the sun walking around for a little while. I'm like, man, why did I wait this long to do this? Your body needs it. Lynn with a beautiful hand. Okay. So Penn's oil Don limped under the gun. And both blinds come along the big blind and straddle. Right. David didn't. Oh, All never mind. Right. Snow's not in there. No low cards. <laughs> so we're going three ways. Gut shot for David. Yes. Dawn with top pair. Yes. Thank you. Checks through four spades on the turn, and what a feeling we'd be hearing from David on this turn. That's 1K into 1.7. Yeah, Brick River here, and you'd expect David's going to try again. Get snapped. <laughs> nice in. Oh, Dan, no, Don. You don't call, I call. He trapped yeah. me. <laughs> <laughs> That's too easy yeah. a call, Don. Like you you should have had a, like a I, three. I was going to call the turn. That's too easy a call. You, Let's go, Don. You say you play six, do six, three. Yeah, like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> he announced it. I was trying to represent it, Don. Thank you guys. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. I'm trying to get you to muck your king. <laughs> you saw those hands. I was bluffing five high, and with you, I had ace high. I don't even have a heart. You thought you had, you, you know what? You said you had ace so far. Not, not only. One heart only. Yeah, 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 one yeah. Not only do I understand you, I feel you. I've been there many times. Uh, <laughs> can't fold his hand. Big end this time. Uh, Ace-Queen still Last time, huh? You wait at your hand. Last hand. You should wait for Queen. Got a question from the chat. Waiting for you to fold so I can call. <laughs> Commentators, why don't they make the smaller blind games have a bigger buy-in? They kill the action for anywhere, for anyone under 5-5 five, five at the Commerce. So the 3-5 the is a $200 cap, and the 5.5 five is a $500 cap, and I believe the 1.2 is a $100 cap. Yes, yeah, exactly. That's kind of common uh, in a lot of casinos in LA for the 5.5. Five. Uh, there are a couple places that have a 1K cap, which does make the game a lot bigger, but I think uh, it keeps the action pretty good, um, you know, with the 500 cap, and people run up stacks, you know, that the game still has players that have a lot of money. You just have to, you know, start with 100 big blinds and work your way up there, so I don't hate it. But I do hear you on that. When was the last time you played 5-5 five five or anything under? I play 5-5 five five quite a bit, honestly, because I'm waiting around to get into game, yeah. you know? There you go. That is fair. If I'm waiting to, to get into whatever game and there's it's going to be a while, I, I don't just sit there. I play 5-5. Five five. Nobody flopping anything here. If I sit down at a 5-5 five five game at the Commerce and Jared Griner's at my table, I, I go to the parking lot. And just, <laughs> I'm out. I mean, when I spy five, I gamble it up a little more, though, so I might be... I don't want to get bluffed, get some money bluffed by me. you at my stake level. Yeah, just I do enjoy doing that at the five I'm, five. I'm good. Fun I'm good. I'm gone. I know. <laughs> I, I don't want that smoke. I'm done. I'm just go go FaceTime my cat. <laughs> <laughs> do something that will put a smile on my face. Nine on the turn here. Pocket three still good for Snow. Ling Lin with the ace jack. No running diamonds. England most likely going to take a stab at it. 2100 in the pot. I'll see eight or six. Oh, okay. There's the eight. See There's eight. no seat five. Yeah, you're eight. I'm sorry. Yeah, everybody. Lingling doesn't take it down with their little stab. As people keep discussing cat buy ins for stakes around the nation. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. People keep discussing cat buy ins for stakes around the nation. I think what the commerce does here is interesting because it does keep the game in control. 
and it doesn't allow players to break their uh, their roles quite quickly. You do go down to Texas, and Texas is much bigger. I've heard. That's true. I don't know. Different strokes for different folks. I will say the quality of the casino here versus some of the, the card rooms I played in Texas is day and night. Yeah, I've heard. I've heard it's a little. Uh, the stakes are much higher, but the, the number one thing is bathroom quality. Is gross. Yeah, man. But the Commerce has like the bathroom quality of like a 100-200 game, and like a lot of card rooms in Texas have the quality of a 1-2 bathroom. No, oh, that doesn't sound nice. I've been to Texas. I've actually even lived there for a little while in Dallas, Fort Worth area, and then in San Antonio. But uh, this was before I played poker, and I don't think there even was poker back then, except for home games. Yeah. The Texas poker scene, as far as card rooms, is a new thing. Yeah. I will say I'll take quality of the room over a bigger, bigger buy-in. Yeah, so there's a fine line. You know, me personally, if I'm playing in a massive game that's really soft, I, I don't give two shits what the bathroom's <laughs> like. I feel, but that's I different you. because it's you. massive amounts of money. You know what I mean? It's it's like a you for know, us common folk who just come to play, have a good time. Well, there's, it's just the thing is that there's you know five 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 ten two three everywhere. And it's, you know, so I would choose quality of the venue for that one too because the, it's wherever it is. But like if I go to a game and the chairs are bad, yeah, it sucks. I hate that. Like I'm not sitting that long. Eight on the turn of spades gives. David the flush. Yeah, David versus Dan battle yet again, and now Dan takes a little. Dan's gonna try and get it, drawing little, dead. Little stabby stab. David has position here. See if he wants the slow play. I go to wptboys.com. <laughs> Amazing. Does not and raises it up and insta takes it down. Also various bonus codes that you can acquire. I hear you, uh, sir, in the chat. Everything, everything's a little different everywhere. You're about the bonus codes. It's the beautiful uh, thing about life is variety. Also, Miami so far. King, King Tup. Beautiful. It's Big Rookie's first stream here in the number two seat. He has gotten in the mix with some very big hands, not getting a lot of action. I think he's a. Uh, just happy to be here. We're happy to have him. He's a great guy. Everybody loves him. There's plenty of action on, across the table for you. And the man is actually booking a win right now, so you can't hate on that. We'll see if he gets into a big pot with somebody. Are you excited for the cruise? Sure. <laughs> sure, okay. I just want to win my VPP. Yeah, that cruise sounds kind of fun. I was thinking about going. I'm not going to end up making it this year, but a poker cruise, they've got some sick tournaments. Like 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 some massive cash games. Every other yeah, shout out to Joey Ingram. Gave out a bunch of seats. Uh, Schwann is doing a giveaway. She's at the table as well, WPT <laughs> ambassador. Yeah, make sure you guys follow her uh, on, on Twitter or Instagram if you want some of that. Try and get on this boat. I'm on a boat. It's a, the Virgin brand cruise too, which I've heard is very, very nice. You know, there's I've been on a, quite a few cruises and there's a big uh, gap between the, some of the not so nice brands and the good ones. So I'm sure it's going to be luxurious and lots of uh, fun action. David versus Snow this time. David with a gutter, okay. Snow King High. Uh, I, I mean, if he wants to pass off me, <laughs> and directly sure. Well, sir, if in the chat room, if you ever do come to LA and play at the Commerce, message me. Kyra loves you on Instagram. We'd be happy to come say hi. Wow, this is interesting. So David Chet called with the gutter. We are also going to have 200, 400 cash game. Oh, you're going with the best hand. In one of the Three, four, three, David said I, I got the lows. <laughs> yeah, I would have liked to see David Chet raise that turn instead of Chet call, because the problem is it goes check, check a lot on the river, and then you just lose with five high. Could have four dudes. You could. Miami. What's your Grand Cayman Island for one day. If anybody was a candidate of having four deuce, it's David. Uh, the Bahamas for like an all-day beach party another day. We should have played just uh, and, uh, high low. And back to Miami. Yeah, yeah, really. a lot of money today. Exactly. <laughs> 31st. I mean, getting them all the lows. That is. Yeah. You're right. I really have it. You play a juice for seven? Uh, 
<laughs> As we get an overhead, look at okay. this gorgeous table. It's going to be changing in about a month. We're going to be building a brand new table, a little larger. Oh, nice. Give these players some space. Yeah, that's important. Especially with these big stacks and all the cameras and everything and the lights. Like, you want to have a little bit of a elbow room. Going to have some more logos on there. Get some more advertisers on there. I like that. Get some more uh, space for everybody to play. But I really like the space where the, the table's at. I used to eat here all the time after tournaments or on breaks at the old Arena Sports Bar and Grill. And uh, it's a really big area. Other streams have been on you're pretty cramped into a box. Check. Lynn flopping open-ended, but Schwan with the nut flush draw. She has the king of diamonds in her hand. Lynn does get there on the turn as she has the nut straight currently, but with three diamonds on the board, you can't feel great. I mean, you probably still have the best hand. Um, you don't definitely don't feel great with all these other players in, but it's probably going to fold around to her. She does make the raise, which I, I like in this spot. Just kind of clear it up. There's a lot of bad turn river cards for you. And as you can see here, she's getting value here from just the, the flush draw. Let's see if she can finally dodge the run bad here and not have a diamond come on the river. She does. Dodges it, and it's not the best card for her because now any six is a straight, but she was never getting called by King High in the first place. Schwan could come with a spicy raise, though, if Lynn does value bet. Good sizing, yeah. Decent. Down bit. Yeah, it's a good, good small sizing, I think, to try and just get called by some pairs. It could end up inducing a bluff because usually these small value bets are pretty thin. Do you think that she wanted to induce a bluff? No. Okay. No, you really don't want to induce a bluff with just a, a straight on this board. Yeah. I didn't feel it was any good. Let's go, Lynn. All right, hundred dollars. I guess seven or lower. Lynn is due for <laughs> some okay. run okay. good. So so yeah, I have to get seven. I'll cheer Lynn on. Okay. Yeah. If not, I will. Team Swan in the yeah. chat. Yeah. Team, yeah. Lynn yeah. Team Lynn in the <laughs> chat. <laughs> Team Ling Lynn in the chat. <laughs> All the ladies. But I can't show you the hand, right? It's been a while since I've asked the chat to hit the like button, so I think it's fair enough, Jared, if I say smash that like button if you're enjoying the game. More than fair. More than fair. If you haven't already, if you have already, I thank you so much. You're my favorite person in the chat room if you hit the like button already. No, 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 no. It was an earlier hand. Yeah. Me and Gus were betting on if she was bluffing in a hand where she bet a ton versus David. Yeah. Not very likely. But. For most people, it would be a bad bet, but for me. <laughs> Big rookie. Mm. Hasn't seen too many hands here. He makes an appearance. He just limps oh, with a queen jack suited or just checks after it limps around to him. Lops a flush draw. Take a look at all these hands and see if anybody else has a piece. I don't think so. Let's go, big rookie. Big rookie with the most equity by far. Best hand right now is the ace high of David. <laughs> How could you verify it? David does call. Yeah, it has to be. Yeah, oh, she has yeah to now board. let's see. I think uh, Big Rookie's going to have to get there to win this spot. And he does. And this is a great, great, great turn for him because David actually has the ace of spades. Also has a straight flush. He does. That's a dumb bet. That's horrible. But he'll take any spade. But a three of spades would make a very good clip. Yeah, straight flush is always uh, fun. I just love that. Um, and quad four, uh, deuce. Is what a lot. I can't yeah. stand like the totes. Like yeah, the and that would be a dream. I know. I'm kind of messy on the top. It falls out. Yeah. And big rookie's hand holds here, but it pairs the board. I think the turn went check, check. Pretty interesting that he didn't bet on the turn because he definitely would have got paid. Oh, that would show me. Yeah. Oh, you did, you did not? I want to see it. 
And now David snap mucks the ace high. A big rookie bet, 1,200. Did he? Okay. All right. Fair. You can show that David really knows his customers, too. You know, against some of these other players, he, he probably would have raised turn. But he just knew David, the, the big rookie, had a hand there. Give me a break. Big the rookie is four for five out of the hands he's played tonight. Killing it. Killing it. That's a, that's a pretty high batting average right there. I promise you, if I was in the game, I'd be playing yeah. like Big Ricky. <laughs> Except for unless I got dealt 8-3. I wouldn't, and I'd probably be stuck 20K. But oh, if I got dealt 8-3, though, it'd be a wrap. Lower yeah. cut come. I'm sure it would. Lower cut come, he wins. Yeah. Higher cut come, you win on the fly. It'd be a whole lot easier. Uh, no, but this one. I could have had low cards. This play is specific. Right? Right? Really could have had low cards. Bally Live Poker here from the Commerce Casino okay. in Los Angeles. No, you're folding. You probably didn't have it. Quack, quack versus kings. And for those who want to see big, big rookie in some hands, Plus they can't lock you're getting back-to-back -back big rookie hands. <laughs> yeah. Big rookie with a big hand. Yeah. Like, it's just for fun. Yep. Like, you want to really feel. Oh, it does make the three bet here. So makes it 7.75 to go. Snow only with... Deuces. He says, yeah, I want to play him. A little set mine. Makes the call. And, you know, deuces or any pairs is, is an okay spot to, to peel and try and flop a set. A little bit trickier here against this player. Good Free money. No, see, if I had that shit, I'm... 1,500 gets right. Snow to fold and Big Rookie going back-to-back -back wins here. Well, give me one chance to get all your money back. 200. Oh, we'll make a compilation of just his hands. I'm going to get it. Keeping it friendly. Okay, yeah. Look at that smile. I love this guy. I want you to win. Yeah, definitely. Love to see it. Hopefully he uh, continues to run good here for the rest of the show. Forgot to give his cards back to the dealer there. She's like, can I have the cards? Uh, can I keep them? I just like that. Here, take it. I don't want to. I wonder how much money I'd be up in poker if I could be dealt pocket kings every hand. No matter what. You'd be up 80%. Your parents are going to That was the number that came to mind. No, you That would be very rich. You You could buy it. You couldn't. The problem is, is that eventually, do you want to buy it? Uh, right. If that was a thing, everyone would eventually see you showdown. Get <laughs> literally the only hand they ever see your table is kings. <laughs> oh, okay. Feel like it might uh, get a little suspicion going. <laughs> oh yeah, I have kings again. Oh sorry, bro, kings. <laughs> That's how confident you are. Huh? If I ever played someone and they showed down kings five times in a row, I'd quit I'd, the game. I'd, I'd not only quit the game, I would. Uh, Call the cops. Yeah, I don't think I can call <laughs> the cops, but I'm calling somebody. Yeah. <laughs> calling Doug Polk and Joey Ingram on a, on a group call. We need an investigation here. Another three bet pot. Oh, and Lynn. Wait, no. David. David flops open ended with a pair of sixes. King ball on the turn, nobody hits. David does have the best hand currently. Out of position from the straddle is going to bet 1,000. Yeah, it's pretty hard for uh, these other hands to continue. If it had been a king of diamonds on the turn, however, that would have been spicy. But Snow's got a little piece. It's like he's raising it up. I like it. Schwan's out of there. David snap calls. And David gets there. Yeah. Let's see if David can go ahead and check this. Uh, The problem is that he just believes that Snow had a value hand when he raised turn. So now he's gone with the lead. And 
it doesn't work out. If he checked, I'm pretty sure Snow would have fired one. No, no, no. Oh, seven or lower. Seven included, huh? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. For sure. At least you see the hand for free. Still. Huh? Seven, six. I had a straight. Yeah. I had a straight. On the river. You got it on I got it on the river. I had paired open-ended. Nice. That's nice. Tells the truth. Yeah. If Schwan bet the flop, I'm raising. So good check, Schwan. <laughs> Long. When you I call can't the call, be I told the flop. No way. That's my flop all the way. Hmm? When you call the call, I told the flop, I lost 100 <laughs> I thought you win because he called 1,300. Yeah, that's what he called it. If he has low cards, he's, he want to play. Mm -hmm. King Dan, if I just fold, <laughs> hands like that, right? <laughs> but, huh, not. Let me know where you want to keep a bed. Okay. <laughs> I think I proved my point. Okay, good. I, I really get it. Now. That's great. 60, That's 70% of the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seriously? Yeah. At least 60%. Yeah. Freaking horrible. It's supposed to be like 30%. Yeah. Schwan in the hijack A6 offsuit going to open it up. Yeah. I, I suppose to be the, the hand right before that I lost, I had 8-6. Snow coming along with an ace three offsuit from the straddle. <laughs> That's <laughs> a pair of sixes for Schwan. That was me breaking the barrier. <laughs> Snow's going in with the lead here. Watch on a board like this. I can get behind. From the straddle. I like it. You get fifth card, you lose 20,000. Really Shawan's really got a stranglehold on this hand, though. I never win with Ace King. Give me a break. That's a spicy card. Yeah, there you go. No. Picks up a lot of equity here for Snow. If I have. And he's already telling this story, having led, you know, from uh -huh. the blind. Would mm -hmm. only make sense to bet this again. 34-ish. 9. Snow checks. Swan bets 200. Or Snow bets 200, I'm sorry. Yeah, Swan Snow calls. bets 200 and she called. Yeah, and I think to, to win that in hand, we just got to go bet turn and bet river. Which, you know, is precarious, I understand. Tomorrow, you guys can catch us back here on YouTube, streaming from Vegas, as we have a show for you guys. Stephen Jones, Tyler Hancock, and all the boys from Arizona, and some surprise guesses. So you guys tune in tomorrow, 4 p.m. YouTube, Vegas, baby. Valley Live app. I will be there. Oh, nice. You're heading out to Vegas for the show, huh? I am. I have a flight in the morning. Nice. I went and played on the, uh, the uh, Vegas stream. And uh, did not work out for me. I lost fifteen thousand dollars, but it was fun. Nice. It sent me right back to the LA streets instantly. But you know, it is what it is. The days are numbered over there at the Tropicana, aren't they? Yeah. So we have. How's that place coming down? We actually have a, some big announcements next week about that. But we nice. have some really big shows coming up to close out March and our Vegas show. So yeah, make sure you tune in. Snow in the big blind, Ace King offsuit. Three bets to 1,200. Pennzoil Dawn looking down at Ace Queen, and the straddle comes along, and David King six offsuit in the small blind says, eh, I want to be involved. Strong hand, David. But yeah, long story short, the action shall continue in Vegas from what I'm, I'm assuming, yeah, even after the Tropicana is long gone. This is very true, as everybody hits a piece of this. Pennzoil Dawn with the Ace of Diamonds as well in his hand. Yeah, tricky spot now for David, who has top pair. No kicker. Dawn's got a queen with the ace, and Snow way out ahead here. David doesn't fold top pair. Yeah, come on. Kidding. And that is a very interesting card. Yeah, it's tricky for everybody now because a jack makes a straight. 
even though Snow has top two against these two players. Can't f you can't love it. Penzo, Don, same thing. Ace on the river would be uh, typical of how it's been going for Pennzoil Don. Let's hope not, but let's make check through. Checks around. As I said, scary board. Oh, <laughs> buzz kill. <laughs> I'm gonna check raise. I'm gonna check raise. I'm gonna check yeah, raise. I got the best hand. I got out. You guys get so lucky on me. I got two out. Pennzoil Don says I had the best hand. No, you did not, sir. It's gonna raise if you bet the river, Don. Look at both of us. None of us like the aces. Chop it up. What a shitty hand. Check your sleeve. <laughs> yes, I put the six in there on purpose. I put the six in there on purpose. Hand right. number 73 is getting clipped by me very shortly. Whatever. Whatever. So you wish, just wish oh us time like this? Yeah. They were afraid of me check raising the river. <laughs> Pretty sick. It's one of those rare chops you're going to see on this show. <laughs> Three-way chop. I had a spot like that in a tournament once where the nuts were on the board and I just shoved the river and the guy just didn't even notice and just snap pulled it. I think you just take that. That wasn't going to happen in this game, but everybody friendly checked it down. I would have to because everybody already knew. But sometimes, you know, if you just real confident bet and somebody's not really all there. It's pretty hard to uh, not realize the nuts are there in that spot, but I think mine was like the board was like four, five, six, seven, eight or something. I can't not lose with this hand. I can't lose with this hand. Well, you cannot. I cannot <laughs> lose with this there, hand. I cannot yeah, lose with this hand. Cannot lose with this hand. So Schwan opens pocket for us. David calls button king six off. Linglin three bits the straddle, and of course they both call. Uh oh, Schwan flops the set. Yeah, not not too much as far as uh, the other players go. However. Yeah, top, top. Right? 4,600 in the pot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I turned top middle. Swan checks. Nobody, none of us like to turn. Yeah, and Swan's checking here just because it's David there on the button. And David does David activities. Yeah, check to David. He's probably going to bet. That's what it comes down to. On the turn? Lingland yeah, calls, I bet. and now Swan in Dreamville right and now. And again, you know, Lingland's just calling because David's there. Um, this check raise is going to take down the pot, though, I'm very sure. Be shocked if it doesn't. But in her spot, there's not really much she can do. This is too wet of a board against two action players. A bat and a call, you really can't expect it to be a brick for them. Let's see if David has bad intentions here. Looks like it. Let's it go. Four. Nine, four, nine, and so does Lingren, so. There you go, nice hand As expected, one. you know, not the, uh, not what you want to see when you flop a set, but she got max value, honestly, by checking the flop. And I think in a normal setting uh, against players that aren't quite as, as action, she, she would have just bet the fours there on the flop. But she played it perfectly here. What? No three there? No, no more. 
Like the fourth time I saw the burn card. I mean, you like burn it? Yeah, it's like a five page or something. I'm about to say, because the other guy, just, you know, we have that vent. Mm -hmm. You see it every time. Yeah. It's the three is three. Something like that. Black. Five. Dave is a pre flop razor here. Oh, wow. Is that right? Wow. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's exactly. That's five hundo. Yeah. Five? You have better I was, was going to call it earlier, but that was just a one time thing. <laughs> So instead, you file that information away. <laughs> hey, that's really funny. That was clunky. Ling Lin is going to take that one down. Got it, got it. Got to see. What are you doing playing my little card? Bluff. Bluffing. 500 is just a feeler bet. I know. That's but bluff. He, 500 you know, is I bluff. said, why didn't you bluff? Oh. I want you to bluff on the channel. And, and you call it scary, <laughs> scary. That's why I pulled it the other hand. <laughs> As we keep it moving here in our 2550 with the $50 big blind any game. Stakes are high. Reward the NFT thing? Um, I don't NFT, no. It's uh, my business partner's company. Yeah, it's a loyalty program. For what? For crypto. Snow with the nickels here, pocket fives. What do you guys do in the crypto space? Gonna call David75. Open to 300. Mm -hmm. Penzoil Don, Ace 3 suited, and Lingland, King Jack suited. Both of them having the hearts here. Give me 200. Lingland puts in the three bet to 2,500, and now back over to Penzoil Don and says, You can have it. <laughs> Why are you not oh, calling really it? Really you had the low cost. What is it on? No more call. Too bad. It must be still out. Okay, nice call. You spot. I got one of his three. So <laughs> that's one card like that. I could Oh, I do that. I do that. Although, no, like, no way I can make a pair like now. <laughs> putting up a certain amount of soul or whatever, with whatever the um, one, one more token person is. I call. And then, like, if you don't make it for, let's say it goes for five or ten days, if you don't make it for a day, like, you either lose the percentage or, like, all of what you, like, put up. So. I'll be leaving you guys in the good hands of Jared Griner. I will see you guys in Vegas tomorrow. Make sure you guys tune in, and we'll be back here live at the Commerce this Sunday with a very large game, 100, 200, 200. We'll be dropping the lineup on that tomorrow morning on our Instagram and Twitter, so make sure you're following Valley Live Poker. All right. I checked out last Sunday. 40 came in buying. It was a pretty sick game. This one's, sure it's gonna be this one's bigger. All right. Let's go. This see you guys there. Huge. Thank you, Jared. All right, Carl. You. Later, buddy. See you soon. You guys enjoy the rest of the show. I will be watching along, and I'll see you guys in chat. So yet another three bet pot. Dan has been loving the three bets and it's been working for him. This time, uh, this time Ling Lin though flops a set of fours. Second time we've seen a set of fours in the past like 10 minutes. Queen, four, six, two hearts. <laughs> See if Ling Lin can come up with a smooth call here. Yeah, with bottom set on a, a flush draw board. 
in a three bet pot, you really do want to raise here. You expect your opponent to have some, some pretty strong holdings. Dan's got about as big of an air ball as you can have. Let's it go. Show me seven high limits. <laughs> Can't. Well, yeah, it's tempting to just call in these positions, especially when you're in position like she was, so that when your opponent does have a bluff, they keep barreling. However, in a three bet pot, you know, they're going to have over pairs a lot of the time, and they're not going to fold to the raise, so you really are just trying to get money in there. So it's a fine line. There's your stacks. Linglin up a lot now after she doubled up through David, I believe. David's still out in the uh, way out in front of the pack with the 66% VPIP. Everybody's pretty respectable here. Big rookie getting his feet wet. Oh, there you go. Dan and Linglin neck and neck. Both players up about $45,000. And Pennzoil Dawn and David taking the worst of it. David's been in so many big pots, it's hard to keep track. I wouldn't have been able to guess if he was about even or down 40. <laughs> really comes down to that ace king versus queen sands against Lingland. You prefer like cantaloupe over dragon king? Yeah. I like, in there, I like pineapple the most, and then orange. Okay. And then I like the melons. And then the grapes and strawberries. Pretty quiet night from Lynn. She does pick up jacks here in the straddle. You know that squeeze is coming. Pretty good sizing here, 1800. Only Pennzoil Dawn's coming in, dominated right now. King high all hearts. Another frustrating flop for Lynn. goes check check Don needs a heart or an ace not gonna be two then announces 2,000 and puts out the pink 5k chip It's value from ace high. Nice yeah, I got well played, Lynn. Thank you for raising me. I had the ace of hearts. If I would have barreled that and missed everything. <laughs> Maybe you would have won. You might have gotten me out. Exactly.
fully expecting a 3K version. You might do it for me. <laughs> Here, I got it. Somebody in the chat asked, how did Pennzoil get his name? I was just thinking that. He's from Texas, so I'm assuming he works for Pennzoil. Maybe he's a Pennzoil exec, who knows? I'll ask him. Forgot to give my boy Raider GTO a shout out. What's up, homie? If you're still watching. Shout out to any of the, my other of my LA poker friends or tournament friends worldwide if you're out there. What's up? See you guys soon out here in the streets. Hope you guys are enjoying this stream. Pair of six is good on the river here for snow. David applying max pressure. He bets 3K into a 5K, excuse me, 3K into a 2K pot. Snow asks, why so big? Good question. throws out a time bank as he wants to think this over a little more. Real tough spot. Beats absolutely nothing. He makes the call. Sees the good news. Hang on. Almost. Almost. I said. Had a double cut. Yeah. yeah, you did. Oh, mm -hmm. I saw. Good. Day. Sick call there by Snow. Really tough to uh to beat anything on that board, but found it. Dan open button, win three best of small. David is in pure don't care mode, gonna go with everything. Cold calls with the three, four off. And obviously that brings Dan around. Jacks to Dan, and he wins with Jack Seven off. Easy game.
battle of the A size here. Lynn with the better one. Post check, check. Good in. You guys just joined us. This is Jared Greiner here in the booth. Welcome to Live at the Commerce Hotel and Casino. Valley Live Poker. Happy to be here with you guys. We've had a pretty sick game so far. Started off the game like I think the second hand. Somebody got stacked. Penzoil Don bluffed it off and then just a few hands later again. And a really sick hand versus David. It's pretty much been action ever since. As you can see, every time there's a three bet, there's usually a four bet or five bet followed or a cold call and two other callers. This is not your typical poker action here. If you came here for entertainment, you're at the right spot. Most of us are just dreaming about being able to play in a game like this. If you're interested in playing um, and you're willing to play high stakes, you can always shoot your shot, send us a message. You could message Wayne from Live at the Commerce. You can also message me on my Instagram, Jared Greiner. I do some uh, tournament updates on there from time to time, among other things. And David betting. Meanwhile, Dan has the nuts. David with the nut flush draw. Yeah, by puppy, I mean like six months. <laughs> oh, and this could this could get all in here. Dan raises it up to 8.4K. David's got a gutter and the nut flush draw. The gutter's no good. He does move all in and snap called by Dan. You're in jeopardy. David needs a spade. Oh, you got it. Can't go anywhere with that board. Bricks it. <laughs> and yeah, that's just a cooler for David. That's my dream board for that hand. <laughs> you got the nuts again? Yeah. How many nuts trick this guy? That is <laughs> the perfect <laughs> turn card, Dan. <laughs> that might be all she wrote for David. I'm not going anywhere with that. <laughs> <laughs> nut, 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 nut. All right, not my date. Back to back, bro. Good luck, guys. Good night, Thank you. Thank you. I thought that was going to be the hand. I also thought that was going to be the hand. GG, David. Love watching you as usual. Made some sick plays today. Just didn't work out. Lost the big flip with the ace king versus queens. And then that hand there, which is pretty gross spot with the nut flush draw and a straight draw. Just running into the absolute nuts. And Dan, Dan the man. That's what we should call him for today because he has won every big pot he's played. Played very well, ran very well. Dangerous combo. It's a three bet pot like every other hand. And this is gonna be a spicy one. Lynn opened and called the three bet with Jack seven. Ling Lin flops top, top. Lin, top and bottom. And Ling Lin smartly checks here. And bets eight hundo. Turn card, queen of clubs.
pretty big bet here from Lin. Now the ace jack not looking too hot for Ling Lin. Straight did get there on the turn. Not a lot of draws that, that Lin could be repping here. And yeah, Ling Lin, Ling Lin is sharp. Makes the fold. Someone in the chat says, can I just randomly go in there and join? No, the game's just not open to everybody. Um, however, you can come and come, come and ask. Um, there's always a chance, but it's better that you message in advance if you want to play in the game. And you never know, you might get a shot. Send us a message. Counterfeited now for snow. And this is a dicey spot when you're counterfeited. You feel like you just need to go for it, but your opponent often has ace high. And in my experience, players, they just don't fold ace high in these spots. It's gonna require multiple barrels for sure. Now it's definitely not getting through. Penzo Don hits his jack on the river. And this should be a sign for Snow that he needs to just like give up this down. pot. And he does indeed. Not too sweet. But you like it more, so have never chopped it. Cutting down on like food waste because I wouldn't finish one anyway. Snow thinks they could be chopping, but he does let it go. If you were to get a puppy, like what kind would you get? If I were to get a what? A puppy. Oh. <clears throat> Probably a golden retriever. Mm. Yeah. Good answer. That is what I've been I, having my eye on for like three years right now. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I really want one. You it's don't think you really want one? I really want a golden oh, retriever, well, yeah. Hold up then. Oh, it's just, that's just. That's a big commitment. Yeah. <clears throat> we all travel so much. Yeah, but then it's your emotional support puppy. <laughs> What did you call the jelly? Almond. Oh. I haven't figured out some dates in like four plates of them. It's on the menu. It's on the menu as an ingredient. Shout out to all you guys out there watching on the YouTube streets or on the Bally app if you haven't yet. Make sure you download the Bally live app for lots of live <laughs> sports action. If you're in YouTube, make sure you shoot us a like, subscribe to our channel. What is the almond jelly? That white yeah. thing right there. It looks like tofu. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Okay. Yeah. Nice and subtle. Like condensed milk or something? Yeah, mm -hmm. and almond uh, jack. I'd be surprised if there was a ton of condensed milk. Fours again. Gelatin. Yeah, it tastes like pretty easy. If you're going to flop a set this game, it's going to be with pocket Fuck. fours. And now, full house for Dawn. Agar, maybe? Like coconut agar? Linglin smells something fishy, though. Does check it back. <laughs> Get a king or something. 
<laughs> you should chat. I'm not bad. <laughs> Put your knees kicking so you hit the king. I have the call. Yeah, yeah. I can't check that. <laughs> Yeah, good bet there, I think. There. Unlucky that England didn't have anything. Do you want me to put it back, or do you want to put the pressure for it? I don't care. You don't have to yeah. Jeremy says, how many sets of fours in this game? I know, literally three sets of fours in the past, like, 20 minutes. And nine times, nothing. Nothing at all. That is something I love about casinos. Like, I just won't sit at home and oh, cut up 50. fruit. Oh, uh, uh, I feel like this is the precious How old were you when you got your ears pierced? And Penzoil, Don, and Lingland sharing cards here up against big rookies, pocket tens. Uh, both of their hands add up to two tenths. Cool. You got yours pierced? No. My parents wouldn't let me growing up. And, you still and want to? then I just got <laughs> over it. Yeah. I like wanted a belly button piercing for like a while there. But. Brick flop for the two small card hands, but also big rookie not loving it. He checks. Checks around though. I didn't want it that bad, like. <laughs> it's, a, it's a fun date idea. Go with your boyfriend, get your ears pierced. <laughs> I don't know that I would drag him along for it, but I don't want my ears pierced. Jack on the turn, pairs the board, and <laughs> induces a bluff here from Penzoil Don, big rookie. He's going to hang on here, I think. Sorry? Yeah, you do. You show a lot of style with you. Penzoil Don, drawing dead. Yeah, I was admiring Lingland's um, watch earlier. I like that, like, it's, like, smaller face and, like, just thinner all around. <laughs> you can go get them. Well, I know. <laughs> <laughs> and interesting when you're playing against someone like in, in this spot that it's has this kind of demeanor. You can just tell that he's just <laughs> <laughs> got a very marginal hand. <laughs> and, wow, he lets it go. Six high like a boss. Different. Welcome yeah. to the game. Wayne, what's up? Really pretty. Seat open? Golden. Yeah, Dave, we just lost David a minute ago. I don't know. So, I don't want to walk. Pretty sick hand. David played some monster pots all day long. Surprising no one. And yeah, I mean, it's tough. Speaking on that hand for Big Rookie, a couple times he's been in these spots where, you know, under the lights in a bigger game, it's... I wore a necklace and a bracelet. It gets tough. You know, it's, it's hard to to find calls in those kind of spots. But, you know, looking back on it, when you see the action, you kind of just have to, you know, hold on and accept that sometimes, you know, not going to work out. I can't take things off. Poker? Not work out? No, I Is that? Yeah, that never happens. Yeah. I always win. Five WPT final tables in a circuit ring, you know. Zero wins, though, so the WPT. Oh, What does that tell you? <laughs> Yo, the hey, tells. You, you don't get all the money if you don't win, man. That you just scrape true. by. You all right, just, I'm, you know, I'm going to stop trolling. I'm just scraping by over here, and you keep needling me that I've never won a WPT. All right, I'm going to stop <laughs> needling because, you know, we know how it is. You need to be uh, finishing in a disproportionate amount in the top slots in tournaments, too. Yeah, to actually have it be a massively profitable endeavor. Right. I can't complain, you know. Yeah. It hasn't been bad, but I'm ready, to, I'm ready to win a big one. I think this year's the year. Well, I'm rooting for you. Buddy. Dan with the suited queen, Snow with the suited king. I don't blame you. And Lingland oh, with position. Sure. Yeah. yeah uh, All it takes is an ace high flop for her to take it. The theme of the day <laughs> has been uh, no one folding to a three bet. If there's a three bet or a squeeze, you know, both players are coming along regardless of their holdings. A lot of that was thanks to David cold calling, but now, you know, the dynamic continues. Well, that's why they're on stream. Of course. And uh, Snow gets the best of it here. He had the best hand to start as well. Everybody else, Dan and Lingland, both pretty much bricked here. Just kind of hoping for an ace high flop in Lingland to just take it, Jack. Lingland or Dan would have won for sure. Dan's been battling. And let's see, we have 300K on the table. Yeah, he's absolutely crushing it too. I think Dan's up somewhere around 70K at this point. Yeah. 
heard David just would not stop battling with you. Yeah, he was. He was not. They were I mean, both he's, he's got my number. He's definitely up on the lifetime. Really? I think so. Mention that before I want to. If you guys want to play on live at the Commerce, follow me on Honestly, Twitter, Instagram, sure. D session. number 22 underscore SOSO. You can also email me, wayne.chiang at valleys.com. Yeah, a lot of chat people have been asking, so shoot your shot, guys. When you guys are playing. Yeah. I think you got what it takes to, to beat these guys. Uh, yeah, it was like, right hit us up. Oh, I don't know. play with a blind check fan and Chris. Okay. Yeah. This one's Pocket Twos, aka Tupac, yeah. still ahead. Okay. Yeah, not the flop you want to see with the twos. He does call one time here. Jack of diamonds on the turn. Goes check, check. Would have been a sick five or king on the river. Oh, that place. No. Should have kept. Yeah, good give up by Dan. I think he would have won the hand if he bet, you know, Turner River, but in these spots, you know, you can't just uh, expect to always win. Sometimes you got to let him have it. The lines can get kind of ridiculous, though. The lines, yeah. It was late, yeah. Yeah. And they're, like, really, yeah. Yeah, really early, really late. So Jared, who do you work with like for terrific, your tournament game? Like you, you know, I've I've got a lot of stuff over the years from a few different people, but the main uh, main person who's taught me, you know, more than anyone by far is Chance Corneth, one of my best friends, and he uh, appreciate the shout out. He runs uh, Chip Leader Coaching, so if you guys haven't checked that out and you want to get better at tournaments before the World Series, uh, as far as content for beating, you know, five Ks and below at the WSOP, I think theirs is the best. You know, it's not purely focused on GTO really focused on different player types, how to beat them, you know, understanding all the different weird aspects of live tournament poker. So if you haven't checked that out, I highly recommend it. Not that one, actually, the one next Do you highly recommend three betting with six, five of diamonds from a small one? I would say I highly recommend it, but I don't hate it, you know, because here we've got, it's just button versus big blind versus small blind. However, pen's oil Dawn, coming in with the back race. He just flatted from the big blind and now four bet. The best hand folds. Oh! Like high Got him. I still just like prefer. And yeah, that's annoying. I mean, I, I get that. The suited connectors is a uh, yeah, decent, I don't know. decent hand to squeeze there um, versus late position uh, raise and call. But uh, usually you're not going to get back raised. And there you go. I've been waiting to see this. Just wanted to see how much Dan is up. He's sitting on 101,000. Linglin up a grip too. She uh, she won a huge flip versus David, who's no longer in the game. He was leading the way as far as VPIP goes in the high 60s. Now Linglin out in front. The two big winners, the highest VPIPs. What do you know? And there you go. Dan's up a cool $70,000. I think David lost 60. Sean, so is that patch a clip on or? <laughs> no, it's a sticker. It's a sticker. Oh. Hey, Jack Four. Never heard of that hand before. <laughs> Do you play online? Yeah. Not really. No, Never? Good. I guess you're too young no, for no. pre-black I, um, <laughs> I try to get on ACR for a bit, okay. but all the money just goes to the, the sports betting section. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow. <laughs> Somehow, I don't know. <laughs> sports betting. Seen some dangerous things about sports betting lately. <laughs> it's getting out of control out there, and then all of a sudden, it looks like uh, Mr. Baseball was don't, out here. Don't hit. Don't read the news, guys. I mean, that's sketchy. If you guys didn't hear about it, Shohei Otani. He he says that his his translator took four million dollars from him to bet it in a legal sports book. But if you know anything about gamblers, and supposedly Otani is one. I don't know uh, Lynn, if that's Lynn what happened. That, yeah, Lynn took the pot, not Dan. I was, I was wondering about a lead of 700 uh, there, but looks like he just yeah. checked folded. Yeah, it makes more sense. Yeah. 
Anyways. Who? Lead into an ace high board out of position. Really? Seems unlikely, yeah. You been there? Uh, yeah. I'm sure you have. There's a lot going on there. Yeah. But what do I know? I need to yeah. defer to Jared Greiner, the disciple of Chance okay. Corner. You know, yeah. best friends. Yeah. I mean, no, you don't. I don't know. If you've ever seen Chance play, he does some shit that I wouldn't dream about doing. So. Yeah. Well, I'm the same way. I try and tone it down by like 10 notches, you know? <laughs> One of the biggest winners that do things that are really off. Uh, you know, I, I did research on the biggest winners on Global, GG. Yeah. And, you know, I, they definitely aren't using standard lines, I'll tell you that. Sure. Yeah, and it, unless you're playing in very tough games, I think that's definitely the way to go. Um, but there's also a combination of some, some players that play crazy, bet big, and use non-standard lines and also run good at the same time. Of course, they're going to be the best, oh, biggest yeah. winners. So a lot of it's variance on that. There's all private games. Oh, yeah. Um, well, in Dallas had a big game too. Maybe. Every day they got a 10, 25, 50. No, a real, a real game. A real game? You mean a real one? A real game. It's private. Maybe you didn't, you didn't play in it. Um, they have two, four hundred run every week. No way. Wow. I mean, it's probably the same people. Yeah. How much is it? Two hundred. Good game. Excellent. With like dong and. Uh, they not allow him to play. He can't. Really? Get two hundred. Okay. Is that a Poker in Texas. I would I would love to go to a private game in Texas just one time, just to feel like I was back in the oh, back in the 1800s in the wild, 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 wild west. There. Yeah, they've told me stories. They're like, you should come out here. I'm like, I got too much going on now. Like, <laughs> yeah. If I was a vanilla pro again, you know, definitely. Got yeah, I've been meaning to get out there. Something for everyone. Dan with the, the back door, not flush draw. <laughs> we got a player with a jack, a player with an eight, and a player with a seven. Seems fair, right? <laughs> yeah, reasonable. It's a nice spot for Ling Lin. Look at that equity, the, the back door. Yeah, he's doing Straight much better than uh, than Don, which is surprising. Can I make a bracket? Um, yeah, I have eight teams. I have no clue which eight teams I have. <laughs> Someone in this world is due to get it right. Yeah. Oh, I don't have like a bracket like that. I have like a like a thing with seven other people where we each have 18. Oh. Half the money goes. Oh, so Pennzoil Don sticking around. Now Lingland Ling thinking it over with her Half pair of eights. No, Ling Ling's got a check. Oh, my bad. Yeah, I figure really. Like, <laughs> Don has the pair of eights and he called. I was going to say, I'll bet Lingland Ling folds, but. Otherwise, I just wouldn't give a shit. Nah, she's not folding top pair. Yet, not tonight. I can't. Ling OK. Can't Definitely not folding now. Did you go to college? Yeah, I would think uh, not. I went to Irvine. Sick turn for Lingland. The only way she can lose is uh, um, a nine on the river. Very often. <laughs> Played a lot of beer pong. Which should be sick because there would be a straight on the board. And Don would have the queen high straight. Where'd you go to school? Uh, school. drawing dead. Where'd you Local study? Nice huh? Where'd you study? Uh, and reaching for chips. Oh, good for you. Yeah. He works for us. Might be the first misstep of the night for Dan. Facebook. Oh, he does. He's what did your granddaughter do? Um, my daughter. Oh, your daughter. Some, somebody was in Seattle. The one who was in Seattle? Uh-huh. Well. So he makes it 6.5K. Oh, wow. Something around like 80% pot. Yeah. No, I'm not ashamed. That's awesome. What do you mean? Yeah. <laughs> and Lingland here in position? No, she's out of position. Oh. I, I feel like she's going to raise here. She got your brains, I guess. No, I don't know about that. <laughs> the mother's brain, guys. <laughs> <laughs> you like to recheck the whole card? <laughs> the last time she did that, she had the nuts. No, I'm very proud of her. Or different. at least the last time I noticed it. Different players, different stakes. The rechecking the whole card means a lot. I know, things. right? You can't really take much out of that unless you uh, unless you really know what's going on. Well, mess with you, she is just going to make the call. If I get in trouble, I'll, I'll reach out to you. Don't get in trouble that you need my daughter, <laughs> though. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the husband. <laughs> What sorts of cases does she work on? 
You think Dan's gonna give up? I think it's too up. Yeah, at this point, when you call a bet that big. Vehicle crimes. Okay. She was in uh, homicide. Oh, wow. And now he has two okay. pairs, so. Serious crimes. Oh, he's, he's the thinking. Is on the up and up. Yeah, oh. I, I mean, do you think you're gonna get in DUI. two pair, two pair plus to fold? Yeah. That's not good. Leland watches rounders, you know, all night. Check, check, check. Trap. Yeah, check, 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 check. And then, I don't like a bet here. I mean, my other daughter is a stay-at-home mom. He thinks he's can get Lin Lingland to fold Jack yeah. 10 if he just... Good for her. He's, he's, yeah. He took so long, too. <laughs> like if yeah, you, never going to happen. It, yeah. I have to say that, otherwise I'll get in trouble. <laughs> you have to <laughs> time it better. realistically. <laughs> <laughs> right, exactly. Almost very bad. Isn't that a saying? What you do for one, you have to do for the other. Yeah, he says he almost value bet, which. The one in Seattle. Yeah, I mean, bottom two. I'm still getting trouble. <laughs> I would say that's a no here, but but in these type of games, you could still get called by Jack. I actually didn't even notice that you were bottom two. <laughs> yeah, no, but it, I feel like if he was betting there, it would have to be considered a bluff most of the time, because like. Got a dog to date. Yeah, it, probably. There's a one-liner there. I don't know. Two pair. It's a weird spot. Yeah. I, I, I think the check is definitely what I would have done. You're the expert. I'm just the recreation player. I mean, I'm down money in these kind of lineups, so. I'm down too. I just checked. We'll see. Um, this is two people advertising that are down on stream. Yeah. Well, I'm going to remedy that soon. Or I'm going to get buried, one or the other. I know it doesn't have, like, my earlier LATV days, but, um, yeah. like, I... Like, ever since high roll poker started reporting, I'm down 20. <laughs> okay. Check. Could be worse. Well, I know one stream, I just, like, lost, like, every hand. Yeah. <laughs> so probably Honestly, I, I'm probably down, like, 40 or something like that, which isn't a lot for how many games I've played. Maybe I've had a few wins, a few losses, but I would be up money if it wasn't for one hand. Just one one hand I played against Harry. Literal last so last hand of the night. Those who can't play commentate. Right, okay. I guess that is what it is. Four ways to the flop. Dan playing baccarat. You have a purple chip in your stack of white. Eleven. Okay. Oh, thank you. David might be out playing baccarat for real right now. That's what he said. He's like, all right, I'm going back to baccarat. <laughs> no bluff. No cap. Yeah. This checks all over there. Right there. All the way around. Yep. One check, three check, four check. Six hundred. Like the stab by Ling Lin blocks the nut flush draw. Gets a six, gets a six to fold. Here we are, live at the Commerce, Valley Live Poker. We have LATV, LATT, and now LATC, and more. Operations to come. Rhode Island, I believe, is next. There's going to be some announcements there. Oh, don't we get to divide them up? Yeah. And a couple other locations slated to open after Rhode Island. I haven't used closest person. Either. She just gets to take ownership. Every time it's like 10 seconds, I don't okay, I, I, Auction. I call. I, I can't handle this. Wasting time. I My right behind it. One way to 900, two, four, three, four, four, four. Three bed in position, ace jack of spades, Ling Ling calls. My call. Ling Ling way behind. Next jack, one bet, 400. Down bet 20%, 400 into 2,000.
Klingland's going to call. Can beat three bets in position with, uh, you know, a 5 6 suited, a Queen 10 suited, et cetera, et cetera. You can float out of position. If it goes check, check, she can try to barrel the river. With this second barrel by Schwann, she's. Lingland's going to let it go. Look at those chips. Shuan Lu, uh, a gamer, also plays chess, League of Legends. Lin plays League of Legends, Team Fight Tactics. I don't know what Ling Lin plays aside from poker. There's Ling Lin, the pocket queens. Three queens there for Ling Lin. Dan bought he D days. Well, Leland will not be getting quad queens. He will not be folding free. Biggest pot of the night almost went to Lingland with queens earlier. Are you going to be in Vegas for WSB? Got it Vegas in pre flop versus David. Yeah, David had ace king. Yeah. Probably for a little part. What do the cool kids call it? Or the classic kids? A, a flip? Yeah, it's classic, a flip. Yeah. yeah, it's a classic race, is what they say. Yeah. Do you ever play? 57, 43. And, you know, run it once. David always runs it once anyways, yeah. but <laughs> run it once and okay. Queen's good. I think David's like, I don't want to say up huge, because, you know, we're not playing <laughs> that big off stream, but he's up decent. They're not anymore. Yeah. No. No. I don't play either. Insert bad beat story. <laughs> yeah. The best I feel like every time he's on stream, he tells the bad beat story that he dished on me. I'm playing the main. Yeah. <laughs> Six deuce versus aces in a five bet pot for like 100k pot. I just learned the limit a year ago. Oh, really? Yeah. No more checks. Half pot there. Yeah, Ling Lin with the uh, slow play this time. She just flatted the three bet pre. She always has, uh, seems to have a really good instinct for where her opponents are at. There the entire time, you think? What's that? Do you think you're going to be there the entire time? Oh, uh, probably not, if I can help it. It's too long. You so what's your latest take on live tournament ROIs? What do you think is reachable? There's just so many great uh, Honestly, I don't yeah. know. It's hard to say. Yeah, because the sample it's, size is it's so small. Yeah, and it's also completely dependent on what the stake is, you know? Yeah. The higher you get up, it just shrinks by so much. You know, you can play, be playing a, a 10K high roller that's, you know, not, not, not a main event, and you're lucky if you've got two recreational players at every table. And then, you know, you could play that same buy-in 10K Massive really WPT you and your ROIs, you know, <laughs> I think it's actually eighty percent. Just that there's like three or four more if you're really good. Play every single day of the series. And then you can play a five hundred dollar buy-in tournament and your ROI is like two hundred percent. And like, so you just gotta force yourself to like not be in the city. Interesting. Okay. And I'm Canadian, so I get taxed a bit on American. Lingling got there. Yeah. Full house. Wow. What a cooler. Yeah, you guess I have that problem with turtles. <laughs> Let's see a 3x pot bet by Dan. Probably not going to happen. I mean, he has nine highs, so he's going to bet something. Yeah. But goes for a little stab here. Feel like maybe I would have sized up, but he, he's really just targeting like a any any random jack high, ten high, queen high, where you can bet small. And you know, even a small pair like this is Whoa, not loving it, but yeah. yeah, nice call. Natural nice. <laughs> <laughs> now Lingman's yeah. playing baccarat. Are you a big baccarat player, you mean? <laughs> uh oh. I love that <laughs> That chuckle. I like to kill the cards. 
I don't play people that won't let me kill. And I don't like to play people who bet a lot, so I don't get to kill. <laughs> oh, you gotta be the queen of the table. Yeah. I'm... <laughs> I gotta peel the card. <laughs> So we're six-handed here, and Dan still way out in front, but Lingland is closing the gap, won a couple pots versus Dan specifically, so see if she can catch up by the end of the night. Okay, what are you humming? I don't know. Hey, humming our song. <laughs> Somebody's coughing up a lung out there. <laughs> Are you a blackjack player? Kinda. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Only a blackjack player, I feel, would look at that flop and be like, Used to be. <laughs> <laughs> Do you play online? I dabble, yeah. Uh, just no, Sundays? I, I used to more. Sundays are randomly if I'm bored, but like, not really there's not really too many good options, you know, here in California. I, I, I play on WSOP.com when I go to Vegas, because it's great, but ACR, I just kind of kiss goodbye any money I deposit on that side, to be honest. I'm like, never win for some reason. I, you know, it's good to get some practice in, though. I play a few tables, and then, yeah, I have some good stuff on Sundays. Allegedly bot rings. Can't win. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. That's definitely a thing, but my friends who play on there quite a bit kind of think that the bots are not really well made either. So, like, yes, they're winning players, but like, can you introduce they're, they're not great, you know what I mean? How do they end up? But at the same time, like, I'm not trying to make a living off of that. If I was, I'd be, I'd be living on the streets. <laughs> I don't know. We all stick to that game. But Raider Poker says the six deuce versus aces in a five bet pot. What was the run out? Well, I five bet pre, yeah, which was like half my stack. He just calls from out of position. Right. Comes king six deuce with a flush draw, and he just open shoved. And I called, and we ran it once, and I lost. Easy game for David. Dan with the wheel drawn over card. Yeah, we've had a bunch of uh, kind of crappy hands over the past 10, 15 minutes. Right. Players are just kind of. Yeah. yeah, they're battling for him for sure. Yeah. Dan thinks Ace High may be good checks back. Good check. Scout, shout out to Scott Sherman and Watt Bree, equal, AKA Brian Watson in the chat. Thank you guys for tuning in. It's been a long time. Yeah, what's up guys? I recognize you, a lot of these names here from, uh, from back in the day. So glad to be back here in the booth with you guys. Loving this action. I'm just getting, you know, free tournament advice from Jared. He usually charges. How much do you charge for coaching? Uh, I used to do 150 an hour, but because of inflation, now I charge 200 an hour. Which, you know, if you're interested, by the way, you can always message me. I don't do a lot, but it, it's mo more if you're trying to beat, you know, WSOP fields, LA tournament fields. I'm not out here trying, trying to teach you how to study GTO or how to beat a 10K, but if you want to know how to beat your average Joe in a tournament, I'm your man. Yeah, I think people have uh, unrealistic expectations, especially younger people with poker coaching. They think yeah. you just automatically, like, you subscribe to Upswing and Run it once you become a winner. It's like, that's right. not the case. No, you I've known so many people that I've coached or that I've seen get coaching that, like, at the end of the day, there's certain skill sets in poker that if you don't have it, it may not work out. And then also a certain amount of emotion in gambling that we're doing that you may learn sure. something on paper but when you're sitting down at the table it all goes out the window you know it, it's there, there's a difference between maybe understanding what you should do and then actually executing it as well so it's a difficult thing but yeah if uh if you're trying to 
beat the LA tournament streets. That's, uh, that's my bread and butter. Well, my sample size is definitely too small, and I think I'm negative in the LA live streets. Of course, one of them is a Unlucky, bro. Captain. Do you want to <laughs> book me or? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. Let's go if you want. You would. I'm not going to buy any of your action, but I'll coach you. <laughs> no, book me. You know, like. Right. You want a cross book? Is that what no, you're saying? No, I'm not. Okay, cross let's go. It's like your your domain of expertise. <laughs> like, um. Is that confident enough to like? There's some young Thundercats that uh, you know are overly uh, vocal about knowing who's good and who's not. Yeah, that's kind of a, a weird thing. I, I kind of have to check myself sometimes too, though, because I'm like, oh man, that guy's shit. This guy's good, whatever. And then. Then you see their graph. <laughs> yeah, and it's just like you know, you you, go, you can't see everyone's hole cards every time. You don't know exactly what they're doing. Just because somebody yep. makes a bad play sometimes doesn't mean that they're not a winning player. Yeah. Especially in live poker, <laughs> because a lot of it comes down to just pure instinct and. Yeah. I think and player history too. Yeah, yeah, a lot of that. So. Package. Yeah. Yeah. Let's actually do one more of those. So two, please. Yeah. Is there a non-Asian fruit salad? There is. Or one there is. regular okay. fruit bowl. Yeah. Probably because of dragon fruit. Yeah. I'll take a regular fruit bowl. <laughs> is there a regular fruit bowl? Let, let me decide. Non-Asian fruit salad. I've never heard of it this described that way. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So you'll take a regular one. Yeah. Two and one. Exactly. Nice. Thank you. Wow. You get a regular aces. <laughs> That's not fair. Well, it's fair because Pennzoil Don is down piles. Okay. I don't know if you saw at the beginning of the stream, he bluffed it off twice. Ran into like trips the first time and then the second time David had top boat. Well, he's going to get a little action here. Let's see. Wow. He likes to... Um, Don oh, raises under there. Don yeah. raises under the gun and Schwan yeah. three bet there. So it looks like he snapped four bet it. Yeah. <laughs> Don got all excited. Aces? Aces is supposed, supposed to pay up for the night. You did aces? Oh my. Yeah. I just anybody who's loud about poker ability or whatever, I encourage them to book me. I'll take any game. Yeah, that's any the game. thing. <laughs> that in, in most cases, if somebody's talking a lot, I doubt their ability. I won't necessarily do cross book, but I'll definitely take anyone booking me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, a cross book is kind of crazy because anyone bink and, and you're buried. It should be interesting this summer to see these two guys who cross booked and everybody's betting on it. Who do you, uh, who do you got? I don't know. Enough. I know chances on Becker, mm. which makes me lean that way. Mm -hmm. I played with both of them quite a bit. Um, but I think Landon has more experience just playing bigger buy-in events all the time. Becker plays dailies. There's you know, he, he wins sets. lots of them. Yeah. But grinding the World Series of Poker is a beast. Yeah. It is brutal, and you're going to get your ass kicked several days in a row. And like, I don't know them how they operate from an emotional standpoint, because you could be a great player, and then you're waking up to play at 10 a.m., you bust at midnight, you're back yeah. to play at 10 a.m. the next day. Oh, yeah. And like, I don't care how good you are. If you if you aren't in the right headspace, yeah. you're fucked. Excuse me, sorry. But like, it's, it's, it is not just playing poker when it comes down to the oh, World yeah. Series of Poker. And then I've learned that the hard way a lot of the times. I'm, I'm, I won't lie, I'm down money at the World Series of Poker at Lifetime. Wow. Because I've gone on these streaks where it's just over and over again, sitting there playing 10-handed, waking up at 10 in the morning. Yep. I mean, it is a challenge. I mean, you and I know a lot of competent players, like competent to say the least. Really? Right. And I see them in the morning, like, you know, they're playing until midnight, 2 a.m., and then the next morning they got to get up. They look yeah. terrible. It's it's rough, man, if it's not going well. Uh, it's yeah. going well, and you're bagging oh, yeah. a lot, making day two, making day three. Like, it's, it's a blast. Yeah. But I'm just saying... I feel like maybe Landon is a little more equipped for, for that side of things. Um, but I don't know enough. I've played with both of them probably four or five times each. So, so Becker's playing like dailies, right? Right. Most of his volume is in like very low buy-in stuff. And I'm sure you'll agree, like in the low buy-in stuff, like live reads and live tells play more of a role than the, the bigger events. Yeah. So it can be just completely different skill sets. But know? they play this. It's it's somewhat similar fields in like these 1500s at the World Series as in the dailies, except for that you're going to have some good players at your table too. I didn't know that. It's you know it's similar enough, but the dailies end in one day. It's it's just you know yep. you just have to focus for that one day, and it's over. 
over, like uh, to make significant money, you got to make day two, day three, day four, mm. and just maintain throughout that time is, is uh, not the same. Only gamblers allowed. No way. Actually, I think his friend is kind of. Well, Probably kind of, huh? His friend is pro. <laughs> that's, why, that's why we let a game, we don't let him play. <laughs> Stream is such a small sample size. Like, yeah. um, you know, a lot of viewers will judge who's good and who's not, and then just cite stream results. It's like, true. Man, these results are just like yeah. infinitesimal. Yeah, it's a drop in the bucket. Yeah, but I mean, feel free to judge based on the hands that are played. You know, there's definitely like, sure. if you want to see if someone's good or not and you watch a whole stream, like, I have a feeling if, if you know poker, you can, you, can play drawing. you can figure it out seeing everybody's whole cards for a five hour cash session. Um, but there's also another factor in that that's people don't always play the same. People get better. People figure shit out, you yeah. know, so. Well, I mean, I play differently on stream to know just because I'm on stream, you know. Right. So. Yeah, I try not to do that, but it's, it's hard not to. Well, part of it's because, you know, obviously I'm hosting and I'm there to fill games and right. I'm there to play on camera. So I'm Yeah, not, you're not out there trying to crush. We're not trying to grind people down. <laughs> right. Do you play Stadia game? Or where David's playing? You don't have it. Mm -hmm. playing David's mm -hmm. playing? Mm -hmm. Mike Kiro? Okay. Some guy in the field. It's like a king high flop. Yeah. Two players with a king. Everybody's got some. Oh, yes. Dan's got a 10 high flush draw. Oh Which is like a full house for an Asian. <laughs> <laughs> I, could, I could say that. I'm Asian. So. <laughs> I mean, it's got to feel good for Dan because he's just been getting there every time. Well, like we know, it can run good and run bad. Oh, that's a spicy one. That is. Wow. wow. Action card. Uh, Schwan now with top two. Dan's got a pair to go with his flush draw. Lingland still top pair. And all of a sudden, look how that swings. Checks through. Could have been a lot worse here for all three of these players involved. <coughs> surprised. Well, I guess Dan was the better on the flop, so I'm not surprised. Makes sense that it checked through. Swan looks like she's a bit begging for a call. Yeah, I kind of like it. Yeah, Dan doesn't have much. Seeing if uh, Lingland will play policeman if he folds. Well, England's small blind, so I think she folded already, didn't she? No, it was check and then Schwan bet. And, oh, uh, Schwan's, the bu Schwan's the big blind, I yeah. see. Lingland's gonna so call. Got, yeah. Jared Griner's not that good. You guys I can was challenge him. I just can't read. Because <laughs> uh, I was okay. shocked. I was like, Lingland's folded that fast. But nah. You played with all these players? Um. I'm not sure if I've played with Penzoil Don. Mm, I have not. Big rookie, I think I've played with on the floor at Commerce before, because I think he usually plays like the 5'10 over there. Mm. Mm. Everybody else I've played with a lot of times. Actually, I take that back, Dan. I think I've only played with a couple times. Mm. Apparently, he lives in Canada, is that right? Yep. So. Toronto area. So there you go. I think Schwann's also from the Toronto area. I think you're right, yeah. I remember her saying that. Where are you staying right now, Lynn? Where am I staying right now? I know you're in the hotel, but... <laughs> oh, oh, oh you know. just fly to Davis. Wow. Uh, two and a half. So there's your VPIPs minus David, who was in the 60s. And Dan, since we last checked in, has lost about 12 or 13K. Ling Lin tied on him here. She's only a few thousand away from being the big winner. Ling Lin going to launch her uh, poker training course soon. So. I'll sign up for that. Me sign too. me. I'll be the first subscriber to that shit. I'm telling you, man. Ling I'll race Lin, you. She is a, for me, she's a boss. Beast mode. I'm bearable. The way is like two and a half, I can take this it. This camera three and a half. should not be longer from China to here. <laughs> yeah, but well, we sit up there for 15 and a half hours. Yeah, the strata of But, I mean, yeah, I, I get oh, you. You're getting tired okay. of it. Yeah. 59 and 70. Thank you. You're getting. I can take that one. What happened? I can take that one. I don't know what happened. What's going on? It's on you. I right, see both of them. It's on your back. Right, the strata. Yeah, okay. It's on you. Free bet. <laughs> you got here by China here? Uh, which airline? Oh. I'm not sure if Don, I think he's straddled there or he just raced. 
I don't know how to say it. Cause he said straddle when he did it, but that, that would make sense. It's a Chinese airline. There we go. So he did call 100. Ling Lin raced it to 500. Yeah. She made it 900. I'm confused. I'm confused too. I thought I saw five, but of course there can be, uh, you know, other chips there that. Got you. It's all good. So, anyways, both players flop a flush draw. Lingland's got the nut flush draw, however. Double check. This is my king of diamond. Yes, it is. This board bricks out. Interesting to see who battles for it. As of now, Lingland ahead with King High, and it does brick. Benzoil Dan wanna take a Don wanna take a stab? Oh no. He pets and then <laughs> then just laughs. Oh no. See, I he's gonna call. Immediately when he started laughing like that, I was like, oh, that's a sheepish laugh. What could she beat? I know, that's Four, the six. thing. I mean, she she <laughs> has the diamond too, so yeah. but Not as we know, likely. Ling has got crazy killer instincts and makes the call. <laughs> Not, not, not alone, no pair. Oh, no, 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 I, not, no pair. Oh, you had me diamond, I had yeah, two right. jack, and I had You need a diamond, right? I yeah. was like. A couple diamonds, you got. Wow, what a oh, legend. She just knows exactly what he, what he had, where he was at. Just flicks it in. <laughs> you got me locked up. You have a queen, you had a queen jack. I had yeah, dominant. I had queen, queen of clubs, jack of diamonds, so you had me all the way. Yeah, I had a king diamond. Watch the stream on the Bally Live Poker, or just the Bally Live app. This is Bally Live Poker, and you could collect Bally Bucks as you watch, make money while you watch poker. That sounds nice. Better than losing money while you play poker. Yeah. <clears throat> Jared wouldn't know anything about that. I know plenty. Right. Everybody has seen this song. From almost, from almost I lost like 1,500 bucks before I even sat down to commentate today, man. I got here early to dodge traffic. <laughs> Luckily, I didn't get a seat in the bigger game. Listen to an Asian karaoke bar. So then I probably would have lost more, but. You know, the fall song. You know, we're here. We're here. Lynn's got the snowman. I can't only see Chinese. It's like the straddle's off for now, so she's under the gun. As long as they don't smoke. Hmm? As long as they smoke inside those rooms, they be really nice. They don't get smoke. Before. Smoke? Oh, uh, you look. They have any type Here's of big rookie. In Houston. Oh. You mean hey, why Carol, is it? Carol And Dan wants to come along too. Mm. Lynn calls. Committed. Ling Lynn calls, and no, this is not what Big Rookie wants to see here with Ace King. <laughs> Depends on the board right now, right? Well, yeah, but you're already having bad thoughts at this point. Now you're really having bad thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> so, pocket eights. The best hand now. Dicey situation, however. Dan may think he has the best hand after cold calling. Wins in there. Ling Lin. I didn't even notice she's got top pair. <laughs> and she has backdoor spades. Yes, I did see that. And now, big rookie, we're getting a sick price here with Ace King. But still kind of a dangerous proposition to call here. Six of diamonds on the turn, and the only player with a diamond is Dan. And now has uh, a gutter, too. Big rookie at the king of diamonds. Darn. Checks through, and oh, man, what a day for Dan. Uh, you like a bet there? I guess. I mean, we, need, we need to bet there for sure. <laughs> oh, oh, no, nope. Dan knows Never what mind. he's doing. Let's defer to the experts, all right, Jared? It's all right. Dan. 
Don't worry, I we think both it, got it, it wrong. worked out, but I think in the most cases, the jack four here is just going to check. But uh, I could see it because the straights could be their flushes, you know. Yeah. You know, I mean, I, checking I the fives. Checking the fives is uh, not the worst now that I think about it. Yeah, no, I agree. I just would have leaned towards betting, but you I would have. I would have bet. Like uh, Dan just showed us, you know, our initial comment was wrong. Instantly showed us, yeah. And I think one snap folded. Nice spot for Dan. Probably disappointed that uh, Lingwin didn't actually have <laughs> yeah. a deuce or a straight or a flush, you know, any of those. Martin says, before I forget, just wanted to say commentator's doing a good job. Thanks, man. Thanks, Appreciate man. that. We're Jared, out here grinding. Jared and I aren't in the booth that often. Yeah, I enjoy it. It's a combination of I like to talk a lot, so I'm getting that out of me so I don't annoy my girlfriend too much. <laughs> and doing a little bit of homework. I like watching these players play because, you know, sometimes I'm lucky enough to play in the game. Do you have any thoughts on professional poker in 2024? Yeah, I think if you know what you're doing, there just hasn't been a better time to do it than before Black Friday. Dang. Just my opinion. You gotta be in the right spot though. Some areas, poker's not doing great, you know? Sure. You gotta have be in the right game, you know, game selection. But I think if you play specifically poker tournaments that are, you know, 5K and below, there's never been a better time to play those li live poker tournaments. If you're an online poker player, I, I can't say that what I said is true. It's not the best time to, to be playing. Oh, yeah. It's probably the worst time to be playing, yeah. to be honest. It guarantees have been dropping like crazy in global. Yeah, but. I mean, it's just the sentiment about online poker, too. You know, with uh, all the scandals and, and yeah. talks of, of bots, a lot of recreational players just don't want to play anymore at all. So sure. the games are just getting tougher and tougher. Plus, you don't even know if you're getting cheated. You don't even know if you're going to get paid, you know. So I think it's it's two sides of it. Online poker is, I wouldn't recommend it unless you just want to play for fun and practice. Unless it's like, okay, the only thing I'll say is in, in the states where poker is regulated and there's like a, a government-backed, a regulated site, those are really good. The online for those are, are great. So if you live in one of those states, I'm jealous. If California had it, it would be the best site in the world. But our government is ridiculous. Well, I think they're just trying to protect the land-based casinos. Well, not, not the land-based casinos specifically, the Indian casinos. At the end of the day, Both. the legislation that's been tried to be passed for online poker, it happened like eight or nine times, and every single time it's the the money comes in from, from the Indian casinos because for some reason they have it in their heads that it's going to kill their action. I disagree because you can't go play 10 cent, 20 cent at the Indian casino, and, and, and people run it up with that, and then they come play in person. They're like, oh, I'm going to go try it out, you know? There's satellites that you can win for five bucks online for a big event at a casino. It's just all about a proper execution. And I think it's short-sighted, but you know, I'm frustrated. We can bet sports all day, <laughs> every day, but we can't play poker. Just give all our money to the house. <sighs> it is what it is, guys, but you can see it. This, this topic tilts me. But anyways, if you want to play live poker, there's never been a better time than right now. One would have gotten a lot of trouble with uh, an eight ball king. But she's a pro, so she folds. <laughs> yeah, maybe if she had a, some kind of. Oh, what? Whoa. What? Whoa. She didn't fold. <laughs> Everyone, check around, hurry. Okay, Ling Lin Easy game. has the nuts. Pens well done with jacks. Really hasn't been uh, running too hot today, to say the least. With the ace on board, though. Probably not going to lose more than just this one bet. Unless a jack comes, which would be the last jack in the deck. Oh, uh, easy, easy game. And chop it up.
almost a pot size bet. England thinking if she should raise, she's tall. Yeah. Like she unblocks Queen Jack of Hearts, Queen Jack, or not Queen Jack of Spades. Either just, way just though, there's no up. value in raising in this spot. Nope, nobody's gonna call you. Mm, you're lucky. I got lucky. <laughs> no, Ling Ling, you got lucky first. <laughs> That's a good raver play. I got it's lucky. always the question of who got lucky when at the end of the day when someone says that. Yet. That's the great thing about poker is there's always a story <laughs> where you got unlucky right. unless you have the nuts and you get paid. Right. Nobody remembers uh, the times that they get lucky. Nice I want to raise you. You want to raise me? Don't do it. Same thing. Still chopping, wasting time. Yeah. Wasting time. Who doesn't love a chop pot? You bang, you bang that eight. Mm -hmm. Not gonna sing that song, but you know, I feel that's good. what they say. Oh, very good. So you only you no got, limit still, no or? Because I would pay you. I dabble in PLO. A I great know, game. Right? Yeah. yeah. Um, not a lot though. Played in some some PLO. I didn't believe you have an ace. Like private games, helping out some friends, or, or uh, a lot of the time the PLO that I've played is when the game's like half half. You know, I'll play. Speaking of private games, it seems like you're following me around, <laughs> bum hunting me. You know? Yeah, it's crazy. I like never go to home games anymore. In the past two times I've been there, Wayne was there, so he thinks I'm a uh, thinks I'm following around town trying to get that money. <laughs> I'm there to network. <laughs> Everyone knows. I understand. I'm just there to donate. Dan here with Ace King suited. Not a great board for him. Looks like Ling Lin is betting here. Let's see if Ling Lin fires again. Nope. Nothing. Gives it up. And maybe smartly so. I, I bet might have been called there again by Ace King. I almost three that you free, but <laughs> that wouldn't have worked either. <laughs> Queen X of clubs got there. Yeah, I just yeah, it's just not a great board to fire again. I think she, uh, as usual, made the right play. Ling Lin, you coach. Shout out to GG Poker, it is a great game. There's some collaborations coming up. Awesome, I love GG. When I've been uh, in areas where I'm able to, I've played on there from time to time, and it's definitely fun. You get to troll people with, with Daniel Negreanu emojis. <laughs> and Elky. Yeah, but the Daniel Negreanu ones just are more tilting to send out, I feel like. Fair. For people that walk outside, you walk inside. But that's for everyone. Yeah, there you go. GG. It is a great game. It's not that bad. It's getting hotter here, too. In LA lately, the last four or five years, I think. This used to be the arena bar, I'm sure. Jared, you've gone here quite a bit. I've been going here for 25 years. Indeed, yeah. I mentioned it earlier that I've been in this spot where the stream is many times on dinner breaks or. One time after my buddy Pete final table the uh, LAPC, we, we all came down and had dinner to celebrate after. Big Island right now is hot yeah. and yeah. Back then they had the chips and the, the spicy oh. sauce. Oh, yeah? Spicy Thousand Island. Oh, I, I never tried that, I don't think. Maybe I did, I don't know. I was going to say my biggest memories from this, this place is when I made a deep run at the WPT and here at Commerce. I think every single day I came about an hour early and just had breakfast and coffee and chilled here, ready to go up and play for a million bucks. Sick break. Yeah, that was fun, man. I, I miss, uh, miss having those WPTs around town. And you can't pee yourself. 
<laughs> Just to be clear. That's, 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 yeah, that's... Okay. I wasn't sure. Like two hours? <laughs> I'd say for like 200 bucks. 200 bucks? Mm -hmm. I'd like to see that. I just don't think it's that yeah. hard. I would... Like if you're saying like a gallon of water. I don't know that we're going to play two hours after the stream, well, but just next time we time play, yeah, you can... I'm, I'll happily... Well, yeah. it's different if I'm trying to play poker, too. Like, I'm just going to play yeah. way worse. Are we going to play a little bit at the street? I don't know, but I'll pay Schwann 200 <laughs> bucks to drink three bottles of water. I mean, 3,000. Who's drinking? 1,000. Wait, it's not. Oh, it's 2,000 now? Why does the price of 10X? $2,000 to drink three bottles of water? You guys are talking about when we're playing poker. How is that hard? <laughs> Who's the one going to drink it? You or Dan? I had a number in my head. Dan has my number in my head was not like 200, and it's also not 2,000. But like so. three bottles? That's not pretty interesting. Three bottles in what time span? None stop. Back to back to back. Okay, that's hard. Three bottles. I feel like you think it's less than it is. I don't think you can do it. Uh, I mean, continuously, right? Or it just you can take break. I couldn't hold my pee for two hours even if I didn't drink anything. <laughs> Oh, man. Hey, it's like that for me sometimes, too, especially when I, like, work out, have pre-workout, bunch of, like, water and stuff when I'm drinking, and I go play a tournament. It's a break every two hours, and sometimes I got to get up and run. Dan sees the running clubs. Check raise or check call? I think just check call here. There could be a straight on, on the board, too. Mm. But... Shows what I know. <laughs> Don't worry. Uh, the thing is, when you're, when you're check raising in these spots, you just have to think about what hands you can get called by. And I mean, Lynn squeezed, and she checked flop, check yeah, turns. Could could have have of course she could. Yeah. She could. But I think uh, she could also have a lot of hands that beat us. Um, it's important, though, to make sure you're not missing out on value. And, uh, you know, that's a spot where... We actually need him long or what is You know, a raise is good. Don't get me wrong. A couple of these spots where I said, oh, I do this, and he does the opposite. That doesn't mean that the other one wasn't a good play. A, a lot of things in these poker hands, like, there's more than one play that that's a winning play. It's just very player dependent and, you know... Seems like a super nice guy. Seems to have made the right choice. That's I know. You have to take his work. Most of the time. Two hundred dollar bed, no very fine. I played the fish. <laughs> Big rookie in the house. First time he's uh coming with a light three bed, and <laughs> right when he die, decides to. Yeah. Just runs right into it. Mm. <laughs> you were isolating the fish. Not it me. Just <laughs> you play it wrong with those chips. Snap fold by big rookie. Man, that sucks. Good try though. I mean, that was a good spot for you to do it, and it just uh, ran into it. That was my small one. I'm gonna go. Pee. I'm gonna start pulling back my chips if you guys don't take them. <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, I put a 50 in there. If you guys aren't following Lynn, follow her Twitter. She's got a lot of witty stuff, she's funny stuff. Yeah, she's, uh, she's got some comedy. 15, follow Schwan Lu. Uh, she's <laughs> putting out more content, also representing the WPT. Yeah, I think she's doing a giveaway where Cairo and I were talking about it for the for the WPT cruise. I like you guys had a little meat on it. Sounds like a fun time. <laughs> I don't know how the people like it, but <laughs> I'm different. No. You heard a lot of guys right? want a little bit. GG <laughs> okay. ties. I'll gain the 50 Preach pass. Jared. Fine. We need WPT to come back. Okay. We do, desperately. 150. So another board where not a lot going on. Penzel Don Don ha does have top pair. Check raises and Lingwin snaps calls with 7 3. Am I going to see a straight? When I look back at that hand? 
No, you're going to see aces up. Back. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, bling, bling. What was the river there? It's a king's four liner to a straight. Turn was a 10. Ah, yeah, uh, I see. Oh, That's right. Nice and bluff. Leland gets the bluff through. <laughs> I had to bet, no choice. What do you call, what do you have? I, have a, a, I hit a bottom How much would you have to be paid to oh. fix your bottles of water? So there they are. But that's such a bad run off for your hand. I mean, as yeah. a free roll. If you guys want to download the app, there's the QR code for you right there. Give it a scan. Yeah, I don't think I'd make that bet in the first place. Like I said, there's lots of different live sports on there. I checked it out. Video quality is very nice over there as well. I don't think Papa. she can drink three bottles. She can first drink three bottles. Wit. None stop. Yeah, she, she can she can drink three bottles in like three and five more minutes. But what's the condition though? Like. You're saying she can't drink it, period, or she can't hold it? I don't it? think she can drink three bottles straight. That's kind of rough. Okay, I'll show you. I can drink. If you want to pay me 500 bucks, I'll drink three bottles oh, of no, water. Oh, no, no, right no. I won't, man. And that's what you're telling me. <laughs> oh, they have wine there, huh? You can all oh, drink some wine, play some poker. Oh, is there a condition? Like three hours, she cannot use the bathroom? Yeah, something? she can't use the bathroom for two hours. Oh, uh, no, that's the. Uh, oh, that stipulation kills yeah, it for me, water, man. Either. Three bottles of water right away, right in a row. $100 to drink three bottles in a row. In like three minutes? So how much time do I have? Yeah, three minutes is sure. reasonable. You know what? Reasonable. For how much? <laughs> Got it. Oh, yes, let's go. Yeah. You need that money ba that bad? What do you mean? It's yeah, good for girl. her, too. Yeah. That's strong. It's good for her, too. Three bottles. No. Ooh. What kind of bottle is it? Two pair now for Dan. Oh, three. Water. Oh, for water. Dawn. Three bottle? Oh, my God. <laughs> Lynn just loves I action. Full bottle behind yeah, you. Yeah, 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 take it. You're gonna yeah. drink all three? Yeah. For $100? Yeah, I mean, it's good <laughs> to stay hydrated. <laughs> I want to drink some wine now. I'll let them finish their hands. Am I gonna regret this later? I might. Well, there's the non Asian fruit. Yeah, that's my thing. Uh, I, I see. Thank you. Oh, oh okay. Tune in this Sunday, guys. One under, two under, two hundred mm -hmm. with a, Can I get a bunch of aggressive <laughs> players. <laughs> Tell me when you're ready. I think as long as you 4 p.m. Like on Valley Life Poker, yeah, live like, at the like, Commerce. Like, okay, nice. Yeah, yeah, I enjoyed last Sunday. It was a 40K min buy and really fun game. And here Glenn goes. Bottle number one. Yeah, I gotta use the bathroom, too. The hundred to get you off the table. Popping like, bottles. <laughs> they're worth it, too. Of water. Just to get it where. Man, I think she finished that thing before a minute. We got one down. Already, son. Somebody, How much am I going to hate my somebody life Somebody taking this? your bed already. You must be thirsty already. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I could use some water. <laughs> <laughs> no, no poker. Oh, my goodness. But yeah, she'll, of course she'll be able to finish all three. No post, no post. But she didn't do the bet for, for not having to go to the bathroom. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, that's okay. the kicker on that one. My yoga pants are getting rolled down a little bit. Wait, are you taking the bet? For how much? No, I'm not. I just have to drink three bottles of water. Two minutes and 15 for seconds For 100? Oh, wow. I'm also doing it. Undercutting me. She stops three betting me. <laughs> 400. 400. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> there's two. And she's struggling. She's struggling. <laughs> One minute and 50 seconds left. Got a minute and, minute and a half-ish. And she's got a pair. Oh no. I don't know if she can do it. Two or three? Oh my, that's quick. She's thirsty. <laughs> thirsty or hungry? Huh? Oh no. One minute and 20 seconds left. Oh, she's gonna finish it. I don't feel so good anymore. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Can I not make it back to the table after this? Yeah, you can drink enough water that it just fills you completely up and it comes out, you know? It's gonna be close. So, is she, you guys, is it gonna coast it? No, no. we haven't been posting. Done. 45 seconds left. All right. 
I'll double it if you do one more in 30 seconds. <laughs> I'll double it. Oh my God. There's no way she's drinking another bottle of water. Wait, 30 seconds. Uh, that's what, yeah. So how yeah, long does you. she have to go without peeing? Nine. I don't have to go any. Oh, it's just for straight chugging for 100 bucks? Lynn struggling. King Jack here. That was impressive. Right? Drinks the water, gets rewarded. Top and bottom pair. I think everyone here could do it. That's a lot. And that shows too. Boy, she beat that by a lot. I feel very full now. <laughs> Jack Johnson says, you can actually hurt yourself by ingesting too much water quickly. I know, that is, that's a fact. <clears throat> One bet's 1,200 here. Pays it off. Is that the aura ring? Yeah, I really, I really like it. Thank you. What's your favorite thing about it? Uh, I just like seeing all the stats. Um, I used to worry because my sleep was so fucked. But now my I know my sleep is reliably fucked. So like but it's like like month by month it's like there's kinda like the same pattern. Um, but then like With, week like, to week it period cycle or? something like that, yeah. But it fluctuates a ton week to week. So no. Like Thank you guys so much for tuning in. No. Yeah, got about 30 minutes yeah. left on the so show. Like, I hear people who say and they like got some stats. They feel more pressured to do like X, Y, and Z. Like, I'm just cold. Ling Lin playing half of the hands. Dan, pretty close. I'm like cold now. And both of them, the most VPIP, the most money. Got to play to win. How do you like the non Asian cup? I think it's the same, it's just small. Penzil Dan got, Don got stuck real early and has been trying to climb back. He hasn't really lost much since then, which just was a brutal start to the show for him. Oh, they have the <laughs> Basically. Speaking of Penzil, Don. Collection time. For those of you guys who uh, haven't played in a collection game before, the rake is just taken every 30 minutes from each player rather than having to pull it from the pot each time. Usually in the collection games, you end up paying less rake too, which is nice.
see if Lynn has to get up and go to the restroom before the stream ends. He just tuned in. She chugged three bottles of water back to back to back for a hundred bucks. And it was harder than she thought it was going to be. I can tell it was a struggle at the end. Those of you guys who aren't in the chat just saw Wayne message uh, his Instagram handle. So if you want to play in this game or games similar, and you think you have what it takes, send him a message and we'll see you out here. You like it there too. How far up that uh, that place away from here? Bicycle. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, I like it there too. Unless you move the show. The show was over there. Lingling with the ace two suited. Dan got a mystery hand, but Lingling's going to three bet and put him to the test. Dan peels, so we got a mystery hand. I know that Lingling has flopped the nuts, though. <laughs> Unless Dan's got four or six of hearts. Seems unlikely. And Lingland's going to check it over. See if Dan fires something and he's reaching for chips. Makes the call, sets the trap. And not a great turn card for her, most likely. Could kill the action here. Dan, are you gonna have your fruit Imagine Dan has the four of hearts. Yeah. <laughs> gonna fire again. I think in this spot now, we just want to call again with the nut flush. No bad river cards for us, and we just hope that Dan is uh, blasting away here. I didn't realize the hypothermia was a part of it. Four on the river puts it straight on the board. Kind of makes sense, though. And England, sneaky, sneaky, checks one more time. Really hard for me to, to put a, a number on what Dan has. Um, it was a three bet pot, Lingland three bet pre. Dan called, gives it up. Is it possible to change the temperature in here? So oh, I wow. hear the AC blasting. Yes, yeah. yeah. Maybe Dan had a heart in his hand. Very cold. <laughs> I'm so cold. Either way, smart give up by him. <laughs> well, I wasn't cold before someone paid me 100 bucks to drink a bunch of water. <laughs> Kind of hoping he had the four of hearts just for the action, but not to be. Yeah, I guess it makes a lot of sense to check to the aggressive guy, <laughs> flopping the nuts. No, it's more like a flop the nuts. I don't know what to do. What do you want me to do, Beth? I think you got the absolute maximum there. Yeah. Yeah. You know nothing at all. I was taught check is weak. Dan says Lin Linglin got max value there, so didn't see the hand, but it sounds like he just had air. Do 
get it. England now with the ace jack off student in the cutoff. And Schwan picks this hand to three bet, king nine off. Been a little slow for the past hour. Not, not anybody picking up too many hands. So I think this is kind of a factor of that. Just get sick of not playing. You see a hand that's, ah, I could three bet this. And hey, why don't I just flop trips against top pair? That's 300 and does get called. She'll probably look to bet again here with trips, and I expect her to be called by Lingman again. Just see how much value she can get out of this hand. She bets 1,000, keeping it small. She's trying to keep in uh, as many hands as she can here. Jack on the river doesn't make a difference here for Lingman. She's got aces and kings. And let's see how much Schwan can get out of this hand. Thirty five hundred. Linglin definitely suspicious, and I know it seems like she just has a king here. Pretty hard to fold this hand, but wow, she folds it. Nice fold, Linglin. You even lose to a straight now after that river, so. Solid fold. We got about 20 minutes left on the show. Let's see if we can get a couple more big pots going here. Been some massive ones, but not for a minute, so. I sense, I sense we're going to have one more before this uh, rolls around. Holds the Dan in the small blind here. Raises it up with force. Snap fold. And actually, Penzo Don was there in the straddle. I didn't realize this was a straddle pot. So he does call with 850. Not going to continue here with the bad end of a straight draw. Make it. Love the look of this table from above with the Commerce logo spread across it. Every time Big Rookie tries to make a move here, he runs into it. This time he opens the ace eight off and the cut off, and again, Lynn has ace king. Pokeball. Thank you. What's your favorite Pokemon? Mm -hmm. That's not in the 
OG one to see. Holds to Lingwin in the big blind. She's got ace-four off. She's going to raise it up. Schwan in the straddle. Flops top pair with queen jack. Lingwin check calls with ace high. Goes check, check. Seven of hearts on the river completes the backdoor flush draw. And Lingland's going to try a bluff here with Ace I. Do not think it's going to get through, however. That's about 75% pot. Well, I'm thinking about it, though. I just don't see her folding. Wow, and she does fold. I'm shocked on that one. Do you have an action jacket? She just check called flop, went turn went check, check. <laughs> <laughs> I'm paying it off on that one. If you got it, you got it. And Lynn, who's been up and down all day, I think she's probably about even at this point, raises it up with ace five of spades. 150 to go. Ling Lin gonna call in the small with seven eight off. Schwan defends five three off. And a pair of eights is good here on this flop. Checks through. Turn queen of spades. Thank you so much. And Lynn bets 300. Good bet there. Gets rid of that small pair that had her uh, in trouble, but nobody really had anything to fight back with on that one. Yeah, I had more than get, so. A stylish jacket. I feel like Lou Lemon isn't really built for warmth. Uh, depends on the item. They yeah, have sweat. Yeah, they do sweat. <laughs> and jackets. In general, though. Is that a Lululemon jacket? Lululemon clothes are for the workouts, you know, so. Probably not trying to keep it too warm. Would you like some fruitful? Um, I'll have some in a little while. Put it here. Actually, I guess I will take some now. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you.
top pair now for Schwan. All right, I'm rooting for a cooler here for the, the last 10, 15 minutes of the stream. I want some blood after David got stacked. Understandably, you know, things toned down a little, but it's also just a function of the hands being dealt. Yeah. I'll take another. Let's get a set over set. I don't care who it's against. I, I, I like everybody here, but I want to see some damage. Do you have a dinner? Do you want to eat after? Some more? Like yeah, actually, I'll skip the food order. Never mind on the food. No salmon? Yeah, never mind. Yeah, okay. thank you. Thank you. Oh, I'm good. I have dinner plans for you. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to join Dan, Daniel? Maybe go to borders. Huh? Bring your girlfriend. <laughs> what kind of errands did you possibly have to do? Yeah. My business is the night. And I gotta get groceries and stock all this stuff. Okay. You don't have an assistant? Hmm? You don't have an assistant? No, my sister's are, but mm -hmm. it's mostly for stuff that I can try. How done with this are you? Are you done? Oh. I'll have more of the jello if you don't want it. Okay. But you're neutral towards the jello, right? I mean, half I go back and forth. Yeah. What'd you say? Oh, it's good. You're oh, it's okay. So, are your business partners also friends or just business partners? They're friends as well. Yeah. Okay. Oh, she's here. Mm, yeah, you probably should deal her in in the future if she didn't miss. Oh, wait, maybe you do. Benzo on just been on the wrong end of it every time here. Pocket fours and big rookie finally picks something up. Gets a good flop. No action though. You're done? Clear, I'm done. Mm -hmm. My friend just got it for me recently, a couple days ago. Oh. Yeah, told me it's gonna ward off evil spirits. Seems like it's working. Were you being bothered by a lot of evil spirits before? No, I, don't, I don't believe in it. I just figured out where it was just poor. Are you superstitious for anything? Um, only if it doesn't cost anything. Okay. <laughs> Only if it doesn't take up any mental energy. Meet, meet yeah, maybe you. ever so slightly. A lot. Mm -hmm. Mike, I always put my left shoe on first. Really? Okay. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> left shoe on first, huh? I think I'm a right shoe on first guy, but I, I honestly, I have never thought about it. 
but I, super I, I alternate. Do you ever do the thing where you put on an outfit and then you try it on with two different shoes, like, you know, one shoe in each foot, so you get an idea of what your outfit looks like? Sure, yeah. yeah. Okay, great, thanks. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep going. Yeah, I do that all the time. No, it's not a superstitious thing. I just wanna see which outfit looks better. Yeah, then no, the winning course. shoe gets to just stay on, you know? Right. Like, I would never, well. They're just trying things on. What happens if your winning shoe is the right shoe? Do you take oh, it off? Oh, that's the <laughs> like, Do you see where I'm going? For? Yes, I would take it off and then really? re-put it on. Okay. <laughs> Fascinating. <laughs> David, are you superstitious about anything? Like a very super. <laughs> <laughs> kind of logical. Yeah. It's boring. Hmm? I said that's boring. Boring, yeah. yeah. That's me. It's a better <laughs> way to live for the most part. Why? Because there are reasons behind things that you do, and not just. Are you, you know, saying superstition doesn't qualify as reason? <laughs> <laughs> By definition. <laughs> I see it as like, you know, outsourcing the decision making slash like logical reasoning part of the decision. To something that's yeah. random and sure. Um, I, mean, I get what Lynn's saying. So if something's like a flip, you're not sure. Like it's like, ah, oh, it could go either way. Then, you know, decide based on your superstitions. Yeah. Running very well today. I think life is better with Call me with the time. Like yeah. I had kings, yeah. too. It's a pretty stack right there. Look at those chips. Taste the rainbow. Today? I think pretty hard did. Okay. Yeah, I know. I wasn't. I was playing. Yeah, I how do you like that. Hmm? Hmm? Huh? So how do you like that? <laughs> Fuck around and find out. <laughs> I'll what is this progression which fun? We have a lot of history so at the table. <laughs> 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 yeah. uh, I feel like we're kind of aggressive towards Saya that one day too. No, no, I actually I, I I don't think that's right, actually. Okay. Are you thinking you don't like Shaw? Or? Uh, <laughs> I actually like Shaw. <laughs> she's fucking, she like plays some voodoo mind trick on me this one hand, and so since then I just... I see, you've held a grudge. She's just... Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to the lowest VPIP record. Mm. That was Lynn yesterday. Just oh. kidding. But I have investors. I know, I know. <laughs> I'm just teasing. The way I expected. Thanks. <laughs> 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 is that a good thing or a bad thing? It's a, it's a, it's a good thing for her. <laughs> Aww, that's great. Because <laughs> every time she went to do it, she's crazy. She has many answers, right? Nice. <laughs> 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 Ling Lin says Lin is tighter than she expected, is the translation on that one. I don't actually remember what time, but I, I think I used to only really have one gear. So it was like a permanent. 
I'm sure it was more than just one session. <laughs> yeah, I remember. I played with Lynn back in the day. The first time I played with her, she was barely starting, and it was in a tournament, and uh, she played every hand. And she was, she was stacking them up, too. It was crazy. I feel like that happens a lot with a lot of people, though. Yeah, there's like a lot, like Eric Person's one of them for me, where everyone's like, oh, like, you know, he's so crazy. I've never seen Eric Person. I've never seen him get out of line once, and we played like, you know, five or six sessions together. Yeah, he can be like super reasonable. Everybody. Yeah. Yeah. I can see that. And big rookie now gets there on the river with two pair. Was in trouble. Checks to him. Well, he checks it back. Uh, I've been like really car dead for a while now. Where I don't know. Whatever. Could have found a bet there on the river. But nonetheless, he scoops the 1.7k pot. And here's your stats, guys. Uh, Dan. Oh, the water? Yeah. I think Got 100K in front of him. I think he started with 40, so like pretty nice night, not night not for him. Okay. Yeah. Ling Lin is your winner for VPIP. David was the real winner, though. He was up in the 65% range, just dipped out a little early. And there you go, Dan, big winner of the night, $66,000. Ling Lin with 55K as well. And Penzo Don. Didn't run the greatest today, but thank you guys all for joining us. It was an awesome game. I was happy to be here with you. Action as usual. Tune in tomorrow for our stream in Vegas. Uh, and also, we'll see you guys Sunday back here on Live at the Commerce. This is Jared Greiner. See you guys later.